eight Israelis have been killed in attacks, mostly stabbings by Palestinians. At the same time, at least 40 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli military fire. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports many Egyptian voters shunned the first phase of a parliamentary election on Sunday that President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi has held as a milestone on the road to democracy, but his critics have branded a sham. Polling stations visited by Reuters correspondents pointed to a turnout of around 10% in sharp contrast to the long lines that formed in the 2012 election, suggesting that CC, who has enjoyed cult-like adulation, is losing popularity. Elderly supporters of CC comprised a large large portion of those turning out to vote, while younger Egyptians boycotted the election for a chamber they say will just rubber stamp the president's decisions. Ahmed Mostafa said, it's not going to matter, it's just for show, to show that we're a democracy and we have an election, and blah blah blah. Egypt has had no parliament since June 2012 when a court dissolved the democratically elected main chamber, then dominated by the Muslim Brotherhood, reversing a key accomplishment of the 2011 uprising that toppled Hosni Mubarak. Muslim Brotherhood officials Wafa Hefni told Reuters, the election is a farce. I don't think anyone in Egypt is taking it seriously. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. The push to legalize marijuana is gaining momentum. These prescription doobies will do a whole lot more than just give patients a case of the munchies. Proponents are piping up to say that medical marijuana can help patients with some of the chronic illnesses that have been majorly killing their buzz. Unfortunately, 36 U.S. states are still not a kind bud of the legalization argument. But in states that do have the plan, the results have been, well, pretty far out, man. Patients nationwide are bluntly asking state legislatures to finally mellow out so that they and their doctors can work jointly to stop the suffering that's making a hash of their lives. So it's clearly an issue that means a lot to these patients. So states shouldn't toke their time with this policy. We'd be upset if patients had to wait a bong time. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You're invited to join us here on the radio waves with you in the studio tonight. It's Ian and James and Mark. And you can join us online. Just drop on by freetalklive.com. Please enjoy the features that we have waiting for you on the site. The brand new site, by the way. It's been redesigned. It's been five years since we've had a, a redesign, a facelift on the Free Talk Live site. Still a few bugs being ironed out, but for the most part, it is usable and it looks great. So please Go and enjoy at freetalklive.com. It's still free. You can still listen to as many shows as you want. Totally free. You can get in the chat room. You can get interactive in a variety of uh, different ways. You can actually create the content right there on the front page of the site. Uh, and check out Mark's new blog over on the, just click the FTL News when you go to freetalklive.com. And uh, it is Mark's Training Wheels blog. He's never blogged before. Well, I'm, you know, I've written things down before, um, so you know, I think I, I think I Books at it. the house don't uh, don't count. Yeah, as okay. blogging. Uh, but yeah, so we can talk to you about whatever you want. The Department of Justice is uh, pivoting now from ISIS to U.S. anti-government groups with their new position, says uh -oh. CNN.com. This is never good. When they're looking to go after the domestic groups, mm -hmm. it they just they make such fools of themselves when they do this stuff. Domest and they certainly show their hand. What do you mean by that? They, um, I mean, a, a, a government has a very difficult time not stepping over the line to tyranny. And when they're, uh, I mean, these domestic terror groups, oftentimes what they're doing is, is they're describing people who disagree with them. 
who dis- who want a smaller government. Mm-hmm. Obviously, those in the government think that the government might be able to work. At least generally, this is the case. And at least at the very least, they think their little section of the government might be able to work. So therefore, somebody who's anti-government tends to uh, be against them. So these are these are the opponents. I know who we should target when we go after the domestic uh, terrorists. Let's go after our opponents. What a surprise. Well, it's a good thing I'm not anti-government. I'm pro-freedom. Yeah. <laughs> they don't see it that way. No, they don't see it that way. And just because you're anti-government doesn't mean that you think that the government employees shouldn't have productive work in the economy. Uh, I understand that the government employees are worried about these anti-government groups because ultimately if somebody who's anti-government were to get in charge of the government, in theory, they would pare it down, they would uh, cut jobs, they would cut uh, bureaucracy, they would make the government smaller, and that means that government employees would no longer be government employees. There are plenty of people in um, the liberty movement that would like to see government employees as they exist today, in many cases incarcerated. So yeah, I mean, to, I don't support that. To to say that they are the opponents of those in the government is not an incorrect statement. Well, there are some of them who not just want to incarcerate them, but want to actually commit violence against them. Which, of course, I also disagree with that. Violent incarceration uh, well. is violence. I know, but I mean, like killing. There are those. Yeah. So there are those as well. Uh, and so clearly, you know, anti-government can mean a whole lot of different things. And I think you'll probably end up seeing the people who want to kill. Uh, government workers mixed in with those of us who just want more freedom. And and sometimes they are literally mixed in within our own movement as well. The, the liberty movement as a whole uh, does have some people within it who are still of the let's use the vi- government's tool against them mindset. And of course, the government's tool is violence and the threat of violence. And so I understand where those people are coming from. I used to think the way that they do as well. But I've you know since come to the conclusion that peace is the way. Uh, that if you want to have peace in life, that you have to model that for other people. You have to find peace within yourself first before it can ever manifest uh, into the outer world around you. I don't know, guys. What do you think about that, James? Peace. Uh, I think absolutely that's the best solution. Uh, I was thinking about Mark's earlier point, like they make fools of themselves. Um, there's the uh, there's so many cases where it's like mentally ill people, and it's like they basically give them everything and. Uh, set them up. Oh, you mean like the FBI setting up a bunch yeah. of uh, fall guys for supposed terror plots that they actually ginned up, the, the FBI ginned up? My, yeah, my favorite one was when the FBI, I think it was the FBI, they sent a guy into these Muslim communities and he started talking about violence. And so they're, all the Muslims were reporting this guy to the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, there's a crazy guy. Like, you might want to watch him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye on this guy. Um, When it comes to... Uh, the reason that I support peaceful um, evolution is, is I, I'm really with uh, with the Claire Wolf statement. Uh, she had a book out. It was called "It's uh, Too Late to Do Anything About It, Too Early to Kill the Bastards." And I'm, is that the actual name of the book? Maybe not. Okay. I, I don't know. It's at the very least, it's a quote. From I think the book. that's the uh, subtitle. Is yeah, it? it might be right. Okay, and um, you know, maybe it's too late to do something. It seems like good men do something. Uh, th- mm-hmm. That's that's my point of view on this. Is that. Um, if you see something wrong, you probably should do something about it. Sitting around and chuckling into your uh, the, the palm of your hand, and, you know, it sounds a little diabolical. So I'm willing to do something. At the very least, I'm willing, I'll be able to say, hey, I tried to do something. I posted on Facebook. You don't mean like that. I, well, I mean, you mean like doing something else. I, I'm, I'm, well, that, that's better than violence. Wouldn't you it agree certainly with that? is, but it doesn't do that much. I think that um, I, I think that Facebook has something going on. It's uh, when it becomes divisive inside the movement. I mean, when you're trying to grow the movement yeah. with Facebook posts, I'm fine with that. Um, mm-hmm. You know, Free Talk Live's got you know 18 million views on Facebook uh, posts, and I think that there's, that's not a bad thing. I mean, but... there's some value in speaking truth to power. The, the you know one of the problems too with violence is you know the state has all these tools anyway, and if you do start heading down this path, it makes it worse for everyone. Like, you're going to have the worse security. That's right. You know, you're going to have more bear cats. You're going to have more militarized police. All the things that people are pissed off about, it's going to be like a living hell. Like, right. it, you they're know, not I don't react, live in that. They're not going to react when you feel threatened, but they certainly will react when they feel threatened. 
And yeah, and that gives them the excuse to buy the more equipment, to hire more police, to militarize them ever further, and they'll just point to you if you get if you get violent and you're the next uh, kill dozer guy. Remember that guy who mm-hmm. like took a, a bull, bulldozer, built armored panels for it, and basically made it into a tank, uh, and then went around his town, destroyed some government buildings. And uh, I don't know, did he kill anybody? I think he just destroyed a bunch of things. Ultimately, he ended up getting, uh, did he ice himself or did the SWAT team take yeah, him I think out? He, I think he ended up shooting himself. I think I so. I, I don't remember the- But the, he didn't walk away from that one. There have been plenty of stories like this. Yeah. And they and they used that as the excuse to increase the size of the government. Oh, well, we've got these crazies around here, these crazy domestic terrorists. We've got to have as much armored trucks as we possibly can and we need more machine guns. Because that'll help keep the people safe. No, it's about keeping the government uh, agents safe. Oh, and by the way, they and rebuilt all the, while, all the buildings. The United States slips further and further down the economic and personal liberty charts while people wave their flags and talk about how awesome their boys that work for the government are. Well, don't worry. The Department of Homeland Security is going to keep you safe from all those crazy people. Here's the news from CNN. A Justice Department official has said that domestic, domestic terror groups pose a greater threat to America than ISIS or al-Qaeda. To help combat them, the department has created a new council that will coordinate the investigation and prosecution of anti-government and hate groups. This is just a gun-grabber scheme, frankly. Okay, I I haven't heard uh, all the details about it. Uh, No, uh, I don't know what the details are either, but I can... I hear the sirens call of the gun-grabber. Well, it's certainly a scheme to uh, de- demonize anti-government groups. Assistant Attorney General yes, but, John okay. Carlin. Uh, I'm sorry. Anti-government groups armed with Q-tips are not particularly dangerous. I see what you're saying. Anti-government groups armed with guns are dangerous. So, therefore, we must have we must relieve these people of their guns. Otherwise, they'll kill us all. Assistant Attorney General John Carlin, who oversees national security at the Justice Department, announced the new position. The Domestic Terrorism Council, following a number of violent attacks. We need a domestic, domestic ter- terrorism czar. Is what or we need. Pl- don't give them any ideas, Mark. That's probably what they'll call the head of the council. Uh, or they'll uh, let's see here. So, following a number of violent attacks or plots against the U.S. that he said were motivated by quote anti-government views, racism, bigotry, and anarchy, and other despicable beliefs. Where are these anarchists that they're talking about? Unquote. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that when he says there are a number of violent attacks or plots against the U.S., he must be referring to the FBI created plots that James was talking about a few moments ago because almost every single one of them that we've heard about in the last 15 years or 14 years has been created by the FBI. They've set somebody up to take a fall, some dupe, some easily manipulated uh, young person who just wanted to be loved or you know felt like he had someone giving him attention. 855 450 free. It's free talk live. I have a 70 pound royal standard poodle. Her name is Zelia. And three years ago, Zelia's ears were a mess. She would have sticky, gooey, smelly discharge in her ears. We took Zelia to the vet seven times of $150 every time. The vet offered no success at all. My wife and I are driving, and we hear some people on the radio saying D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E. 859-428-1000. The omega-3 fatty acids. Flaxseed, zinc, alfalfa. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. Six days after I started feeding her Dinovite, my dog's ear problems were cured. My dog no longer yelps. She can be petted without pain, and it's because Dinovite made our dog healthy again. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. My name is Bill Bonner, and I'm the president of the largest private news and research network in the world. And I paid for this airtime because I have an important message to the American people. There's a change coming that the government isn't telling you about. This change has deep implications for life in America, from where you shop to the doctors you visit and the family you want to protect. Look, I've made predictions like this before. Thing is, I was right then, too. A few years ago, I warned that housing prices would collapse. They did. Before that, I warned that dot-com companies would crash. They did. Those who listened had a chance to save themselves. 
but this has nothing to do with the stock market. This will affect us all. You can watch the video for free right now by going to disappearingwealth.com. Again, that's disappearingwealth.com. Keenvention is coming up fast October 30th through November 1st. Get your tickets now at keenvention.info. Keenvention is an intimate event where you can meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire, including Oath Keeper Chris Reitman, Libertarian presidential candidate Daryl W. Perry, illegal Uber driver Christopher David, Neocash Radio's Dr. Darren Tapp, State Representative Mike Sylvia rated an A-plus by the NHLA, The Seditious Sirens, The Rebel Love Show's Rob Mathias, Tech Guru Brian Sovereign, Cop blocker J.P. Freeman, new mover Dr. Taryn Lupo, longtime political activist Dennis Goddard, Church of the Invisible Hand Minister Rich Paul, Shire Dude, and dozens more. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. That includes access to the Hello Keen Costume Dance Party. Reserve your tickets now at keenvention.info. Visit keenvention.info for more speaker announcements, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate. Oof, I think we've all had enough of that jingle, don't you? If you're going to invest in property in New Hampshire, it just makes sense to support a liberty-friendly realtor. Call Mark Warden of Team Porcupine Real Estate for investment property or rentals in the free state. Or visit his website. Come on, you know it. PorcupineRealEstate.com while our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live, our toll-free number. Should you want to join us, maybe you're scared of domestic terror and you want the government to keep you safe, we'd love to hear from you. 55-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We also have Skype at Skype username lrn.fm. So feel free to reach out to us in that way if you'd like. Joining you in studio, Ian here. It's James. And Mark. Also, if you care about your privacy when you're on the internet, you need ProXPN. They're a virtual private network, and they encrypt your online data before it gets to your internet service provider, which means that... Your ISP won't know what you're doing anymore. Once you start using Pro XPN, you're still using your own ISP, but they're basically completely precluded from knowing where you're going and what you're doing. That's because Pro XPN encrypts your data, and you can get it for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and Linux as well. Go to ProXPN.com, use code FTL50, and you can get 50% off the regular monthly price for the lifetime of your account. When you buy an annual account with that code, it's code FTL50, which brings the price down to less than a good cup of coffee per month, which is pretty awesome. But if you want an even better deal, then you need Bitcoin. And if you have Bitcoin, you can go to ProXPN.com slash AMP. ProXPN.com slash AMP, like advertise, market, promote, like the Free Talk Live AMP program. Pay less than $50 worth of Bitcoin, you'll get two years of ProXPN, and $5 of your payment will go to the AMP program to help us here on Free Talk Live spread the ideas of liberty. So it's a great way for you to help spread freedom and take back your privacy. Go to ProXPN.com slash AMP and use Bitcoin to get the awesome deal, proxpn.com slash amp, or if you got a credit card and you want to use that, just use code FTL50, and you'll still get the 50% off, which is also pretty darn good. So let's continue here. The federal government announcing that the Department of Homeland Security will be creating a new council, the Domestic Terrorism Council, because apparently they say that domestic terror groups pose a greater threat to America than ISIS or al-Qaeda. Well, I would say that um, that mu that statement is true. It might be true, yes. That there are people in the United States that are so thoroughly upset with their government or, um, you know, some other organization. Uh, with the, the Earth First people blowing up, uh, you know, 
I don't know, modern things. How about the school shooters? I think you could count that as domestic terror. Right? Yeah. What are they after, though? Usually terrorism has some kind of political goal, if you know what I mean. Yeah, typically it Societal does. Societal goal. It typically does, but you could have an act of terror simply to terrorize, like to, you know, frighten people, basically. It, it certainly would fit the definition, but usually you attempt to control through fear. Usually you want terrorism. some sort of social output, some sort of uh, thing to happen in the future. I say that's just crime. And frankly, yeah. I think a lot of it's just crime. Whether you're, what, what, what your motivation is doesn't really matter. Well, the assistant attorney general in this case is John Carlin. He announced, said, Domestic Terrorism Council, the story from CNN.com. He said more Americans have died at the hands of domestic terror than the international terror groups that federal law enforcement focuses so much attention on, pointing to high-profile attacks as the racially motivated Charleston Church shooting in June or the murder of two Las Vegas police officers by anti-government extremists last year. Looking back over the past few years, he said, it's clear that domestic terrorists and homegrown violent extremists remain a real and present danger to the United States. We recognize that over the past few years, more people have died in this country in attacks by domestic extremists than in those of the international terrorist groups, unquote. While many similarities exist between domestic and international terror groups, such as recruitment and reach on social media, one difference lies in the way the Justice Department is able to prosecute them. Groups like ISIS and Al-Qaeda, who are inspired by religious extremism, says CNN, are designated uh, the religious extremism. It's not the fact that the U.S. government has been over there bombing people and destroying lives and property for decades. No, it's their religious extremism that is their motivating factor, according to CNN. Well, I mean, certainly they... <laughs> Certainly, they're religious extremists. Um, I think that you can get people to fight a bit harder mm -hmm. if you can offer them, say, heaven and 40 virgins or something like that. Um, sure, but they're less likely to fight if their family has not had uh, a bomb dropped on their house. Yes. Uh, when you find things like um, usually suicide bombers are confined to places that um, are in, uh, they're, they're invaded. They are occupied by a foreign force. Yes, that's true. We don't see suicide bombings going on here in the United States, although you could uh, you could make the argument that the United States government is an occupying force. Uh, the toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Glenn. He's in Philly. You're on Free Talk Live. Tune to LRN.FM. Hey, Glenn. Good evening, gentlemen. Hey. Right. Do you, by any chance, remember the scene from Full Metal Jacket where... Um, the people who've been killed off by government troops were all laid out in, the, in a mass grave ditch with lime over their bodies and stuff. And the, you know, the hero of the movie is lamenting over this. I do. Remember sure. They played strange, strange music in the background. Okay, if you recall what transpired to create that setting, they said that they uh, they they called a meeting and had you know people come to a meeting to, to gather together, and it was like teachers, nurses, people like that, and uh, anybody who was, you know, uh, unduly intelligent or educated, um, you know, was shot and killed. And, you know, Paul Pot was an advisee of Barack Obama's advisors, Big New Brzezinski and was known for killing people if they had glasses, because if they had glass or glasses, that means that they were literate and had enough money to afford glasses, which made them a threat. Mm. So, um, you know, if that's the type of uh, weeding people out, you know, we can look forward to in the future. Anybody I see two who... people wearing glasses in this studio. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be, you know, complaining actively about the government or an active dissident. Yeah. You can just be, you know, intelligent, educated. If you meet the profile. Uh, well, that, that's what yeah, they're right. You, the, you meet the profile, yeah. you'll be targeted. Yeah, but exactly. it, it can't happen here, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. Well, we already and, uh, know that. I, uh, I remember during the Bush administration, the Department of Homeland Security was issuing notices about domestic terror, and they would say things like, you can tell a domestic terrorist because they have a constitution in their car or something like that, or they mention the constitution when you pull them over. Yeah. The constitution is sort of a trigger word um, yeah. in many cases is what they're, they're claiming. Right. And it, it 
it, will get, it, gets, and it will start with people who are actively dissident or constitutionalist. Stuff. But I mean, with a killing field in Cambodia, it was all five. It just got down to, were you smart enough to potentially raise an objection at some point? Yeah, and that's one of the reasons why uh, police departments, some of them, not all of them do this, but some of the police departments have IQ uh, maximum requirements, meaning that if you have an IQ over, I think it was 120 or something like that, or 100, I forget which one it was. What's the reason that you're claiming that this is? Because somebody who is uh, smarter would be maybe more likely to refuse a bad order. They okay. want someone who's going to be obedient. You have no evidence for your claim. You're proposing no, that that's no, why. No, no, actually, no, no, actually, there is substance. Yeah, there is some substance to that. Well, there's, I mean, um, there may or may not yeah. be a system, but I can assure you they haven't come out and said, you know why we hire dumb police officers? Because they, no, they may... won't say that. No, that right. You're proposing. Well, so yeah. how do you know? That's, All that's, I'm saying seems is. Seems like a darn good reason the to The accurate me. statement is is that they have uh, hired people with lower IQs. Maybe that's because they don't ask questions. Maybe that's what it's I'm because talking about. They, they just ask... get bored on the job. That's I don't what know. I'm saying. They don't ask questions. They do what they're told. They're less likely to really question their circumstances or say no. Thanks, Glenn, for your call tonight. This is Free Talk Live. My dad was 59 when he collapsed from a heart attack late last year. Just this past August was when we spread his ashes on the St. Croix River. I loved my dad, but boy was he stubborn. He hadn't been to the doctor in over 25 years. His excuse? He simply couldn't afford it. He wasn't a rich man by any means. At less than $107 per month, libertyoncall.org would have been the perfect alternative for my father. Don't wait. Go to libertyoncall.org right now for not just your sake, but for the sake of your loved ones. Again, that's libertyoncall.org. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at Bitcoin.com. That's Bitcoin.com. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.LRN.FM or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.LRN.FM. That's apps.LRN.FM. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas 
of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. You may join us right here, toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733, along with our brand new website at freetalklive.com. We also have new shirts, and it's actually been the first time in a lot of years. Long, long time. More than five years since we've had shirts for sale online. Uh, you can now go and pre-order yours before October 31st to be part of the initial run of shirts. There's two types, the FTL logo shirt, and then the, uh, there's another one with the logo on the back, and then taxes are theft emblazoned across the front. There are also ladies' cut versions of both shirts. Go to gear.freetalklive.com to place your order, That's or your pre-order at this point, gear.freetalklive.com. It's Ian James and Mark in the studio. James, you just did a little digging on the IQ requirement by some police departments, I, I remember it was New London, I think, Connecticut, that made the news a while back about this, where they had a, a, a maximum IQ uh, that their officer applicants could be in order to qualify for the job. And you said this was uh, some sort of suit was brought and the court backed up the police departments. Is that right, James? Yeah, that's right. So I guess the, um, the candidate scored 33 points, which was equivalent to an IQ of 125. But New it depends London, on the test, by the way. Um, I mean, you know, those sitting out there thinking, my IQ is higher than that. You never know exactly how high this is. Um, it just depends on the test is the way they rate it. Yeah, it says New London police interviewed only candidates who scored 20 to 27. So the the theory was um, if the people who scored too high could get bored with police work and leave soon after undergoing costly training. And the court ruled in the, um, I guess, the police's favor that, yes, you can use this as a... Uh, in the department's favor. That's right. Yeah. Right. Not that they weren't discriminating, but that they weren't discriminating based on sex, gender, sexual orientation, whatever it is that they. they so know, it's they, fine for the bureaucr- bureaucrats to discriminate against intellectual. They people. are obviously discriminating. This is the definition yeah. of discrimination. They are deciding, I'd like that one. I don't like that one. That's what discrimination is. <laughs> you know. That's and why they use a the term. That's not a bad thing in most cases. No, discriminating tastes are considered to be good things. When it's a you private would consider company. a woman um, who was not discriminated about whom she had sex with. Usually, she's described very poorly. And in frank, frankly. Men who are not very uh, discriminate about whom they have sex with are not described much better. Uh, so if you want to share your thoughts on this or whatever's on your mind, you can join us. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. So their excuse was is that, well, if somebody's not that intelligent, then we might be able to keep them as a cop longer. Basically. Uh, they're, they're basically saying that uh, people who have a high IQ could get bored with police work. Mm. They could. They could get a better offer from somewhere else. They could move on and whatever. Um, well, I had a uh, situation where I was looking for a job one time. I'd had a business fail, and uh, I, you know, when your business fails, you tend to kind of go into this uh, this the shell. Mm. You know, you just you want a little time to yourself. You want, uh, hey, you know what? I need to realign my expectations to something more realistic. So I asked for a meter reader job. There was it was in the paper. So and this was uh, you know many years. You mean ago. like with a power company, not like parking enforcement? Yeah, power company. Okay. And they're, you know, that I get called them up and they're like, no, uh, you know, the, the, the supervisor's like, no, you just don't know. You're going to move on. Um, you know, just talking oh, to me on the phone. You're too smart. They he decided that, uh, you know, I was too young. I was too male. I was too smart. I was too whatever. Huh. But I can't have that job. He's looking for somebody who's going to stick with it and stay there and not be me. Hmm. I've never seen a female meter reader. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Uh, so our toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. Let's go back to the story here from the Department of Homeland Security, CNN, reporting that they're now forming a new uh, council, the Domestic Terrorism Council. They're promoting the idea that domestic, so-called domestic terror is more dangerous to Americans than ISIS and al-Qaeda. Of course, it's a lot harder to demonize domestic terrorists because, well, they don't look 
this, you know, they they look like your neighbors, right? They don't, uh, they're not wearing a turban. You just get a bad picture of them, whatever. And so, you know, they they like clearing their throat or something. Their mouth is a little askew, and then they're, you know, they look bad. No, but, I know what you're saying, but it's it's harder to demonize them because they're more likely to look more American than, let's say, ISIS, who is definitely trying to go for a different uh, appearance. Sure. And uh, it's not going to be hard to demonize ISIS. You know, right. ISIS and, isn't doing <laughs> isn't doing much to uh, to shed the the demonization. Sure. And of course, you also have ISIS going out there and murdering innocent people as well on video, which of course is going to make them look a lot worse than the average anti-government group who's plotting to kill a judge. Uh, or something like that. Yeah. So uh, they say here that uh, groups like ISIS and Al-Qaeda are designated by the federal government as terror organizations, which makes it illegal to support or assist them. But no such statute exists to prosecute white supremacists, the Ku Klux, Ku Klux Klan, or anti-government extremists, forcing federal law enforcement to find more concrete charges to lock them up. Uh, Carlin, who is the person with the Department of Homeland Security, said, What causes some confusion is that domestic terrorism is not an offense or a charge. Therefore, domestic terror groups must or actors must be prosecuted with firearms or explosive offenses, hate crimes or murder. See what I say about the firearms. This is just a gun grabber uh, situation. They're they're just trying to, you know, they're they're talking about boogeymen so they can come get the guns from everybody. The boogeyman could be right next door, so we must have everyone's guns. It's the hope the Justice Department. Uh, it's the hope of the Justice Department that the council will not only help to coordinate the prosecution of domestic terrorists, but also quote to identify trends to help shape our strategy and to analyze legal gaps or enhancements required to ensure that we can combat these threats. Said Carlin, the Justice Department identified white supremacists as the most violent of the domestic terror groups. And Carlin raised concerns that the narrow focus the U.S. has on Islamic extremist terrorism can take away attention from the threats which warrant more resources. It makes me also think that uh, oftentimes uh, those that don't wish to have debates on the ideas of liberty um, will call libertarians at any opportunity they get bigots and racists. They'll often do it to Republicans, too. Which I think it's interesting that uh, Republicans, uh, currently their front runner, or darn close to their front runner, black, the last go around uh, when Herman Cain was uh, up up at the top there, black. I mean, it's not like, it, it, obviously, it's not that big of a yeah, uh, criteria. When was the last time the Libertarians chose a black candidate? I don't know how many li- how many uh, black people are hanging around the Libertarian Party. I I don't know why it even matters. The Libertarians really just offer a. Um, you know, just are offering another option to vote for. So, you know, whatever. You don't need to put up a black candidate to show that you're not a racist. It doesn't have anything to do. You, by I definition, <laughs> if you care what color the candidate is, that's racism. Yeah. <laughs> At least racially, um, you know, racially Motivated. cognizant. Yeah. Carlin said, uh, this is a final quote here, I do worry sometimes that the coverage hypes the threat in such a way that induces the fear that the terrorist is attempting to accomplish Yet while we continue to address this evolving international threat of violent extremists, we have not lost sight of the domestic terrorism threat posed by other violent extremists. So, you know, look for more of that coming soon. More on the job, people. Yeah, more of the uh, more tyranny coming right here to the United States in the form on the guise of keeping you safe from the boogeyman who is supposedly a danger to you and I. Although I don't really see much evidence of that. I mean, the idea, if they're anti-government extremists and they're violent, then they would be more of a danger to the government, wouldn't they? They're less of a danger to you and well, I. That, that's really what it's about. I mean, do you remember the Mayak report? That was a report. Long time ago, yeah. Yeah, it was like a maybe like five or six years ago where basically they said if you're a Ron Paul supporter, you know, you're a d- domestic terrorist or they had some other things in there. Mm-hmm. But Yeah, they certainly had a, a, a list of them in the, uh, the Mayak report and... Yeah, I mean, this is Ian. Half of the population makes their money from the government. If you count government workers, government yeah. contractors, and maybe even people who get uh, you know checks from the government, sure, you're talking about more than half of the population, or at least half the population. So, an anti-government extremist is easily painted as an anti um, everybody. Let's go to Mike. He's in Tennessee. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Mike. Oh, we can barely hear you there, Mike. Is this any better? That's a lot Much better. better. Go ahead. 
I, I listen to you guys every now and then, and you sound so much libertarian at some points, and then at certain points, you not so much. But the reason Whoa, I'm whoa, calling, whoa. What the, points are we not sounding libertarian about? I want to hear more about this. Stand by, Mike. We will bring you back, and you can tell us how unlibertarian we are. This is rare. Yeah, you know we've been usually, accused of being uh, usually liberal liberal we're for being too libertarian. Right. Well, no, we're, we're we're accused of being liberal or conservative by one side or the other, typically. Uh, but to say we're actually not libertarian, I got to hear this. What am I wrong about on liberty? It's free talk live. Let me know, Mike. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond twenty five percent on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to saveitpurse.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to saveitpurse.com right now, get signed up, and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 15 to 25% off of everything at Amazon through saveitpurse.com. It's saveatpurse.com. If you're like me, you're concerned about the stock market and the economy. You're asking the questions, but it just doesn't seem that you're getting the right answers. Well, my friends at the Wealth Preservation Institute not only have the answers, but they put together a free report, how to survive the upcoming economic collapse and protect your 401ks, IRA savings, and retirement income. Don't hesitate. This report's for free for a limited time by calling 888-772-2929. That's 888-772-2929. Take back your financial lives today. My name is Dell, and I live in El Cajon, California. I was concerned about my cholesterol readings because I knew that high cholesterol is related to clogging of the arteries and increases the risk for heart attack and stroke. One day, I heard an ad for heart and body extract, and I was skeptical, but I decided to give it a try. Man, the numbers don't lie. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to saveitpurse.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. I know this sounds unbelievable, but at my house, we saved as much as 45% off of a new item on Amazon. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to saveitpurse.com right now, get signed up, and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 15 to 25% off of everything at Amazon through saveitpurse.com. It's saveatpurse.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit LibertyOnTheRocks.org today to get started. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM.
It's Free Talk Live, and you can join us right here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you in studio tonight, it's me, Ian. And James. And Mark. And you can also join us via Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. Mike in Tennessee says that we're pretty libertarian on some things, but on other things, he says we're not libertarian. And I would like to know what it is. I mean, we advertise ourselves basically as like the most libertarian talk show out there. The only truly pro-liberty radio program on the air. No, that's not. I wouldn't say we would make that claim. I mean, uh, Freedom, well, Fiends is, Freedom Fiends is pretty, uh, is pretty uh, liberty-oriented. And they're friends of ours, but uh, but what are you, what are we missing the boat on here, Mike? I you know help me out. I want to be a better libertarian. Well, I want to I want to brief you on that, but I also because the reason I called it, I wanted to tell you about the IQ situation because what is happening has been happening for a long time. But I'll get back to that. Um, where you guys fall short, of course, everybody and, and at least everybody that I know this libertarian views a libertarian as a person who's independent, self sufficient doesn't want a handout, just wants to be left alone. They just want freedom to do their thing. And That's not true. Libertarians aren't necessarily self-sufficient. I mean, it's certain, certainly there are a lot of libertarians who are, and they're very interested in, like, living off the grid or whatever. Uh, but there's plenty no, of, like, no, you don't no, have to be a libertarian no. to be self or you don't have to be self-sufficient to be a libertarian. No. Not necessarily off the grid, but I mean, they're not looking for government handouts. They don't want somebody to have to bail them out. They don't need a daddy. Is, That's generally true. That? Yeah. But okay. that's not really okay. what defines libertarian. Well, they, they believe that there are consequences to actions, um, I think is what they would say. And, um, you know, probably when the consequence is high enough, anybody, libertarian or not, is going to wish that they didn't have the consequences of their actions. However, um, libertarians generally believe that, that consequences are good because they teach us things. Okay, so real quick, before you go on and tell us why we're okay, not libertarian, because yeah, I still want to hear that— uh, just to yeah, point out, and, and, libertarian is really a very simple definition. It's someone who doesn't support or advocate the use of uh, initiatory force or aggression to achieve political or social goals. That's it. There really isn't anything else to it. But go ahead. Give us one example. Well, well actually, it has to do with the lack of need for government. It's self-governance is the epitome and the threshold and the foundation of libertarianism is the ability to take responsibility for yourself. And you don't have to have a daddy. And we reject governments. And, and the, the fact is, is that what the Franklins and the Washingtons and the Jeffersons of the world learned was the Native American philosophy, which was live in peace and harmony, do whatever you want, as long as you're not harming your neighbor. Let him do the same. Together you can do whatever you want together. As long as you're not hurting anybody, do whatever. And and that's what they learned, and that's what they aspired in the founding of this country. They took so where the are we getting it wrong? That's what I want to know. Here's where you're getting it wrong, and it's, and it's just a simple thing is that any time that the government does something and you guys take the official story hook, line, and sinker and run with it as though it's fact, and when I try to present you truths about hoaxes such as 9-11, uh, the Boston bombing, uh, let's see, Sandy Hook, all these other things, you know, that this hoax in Virginia where you Sorry, dude. Reporters. You are totally wrong. Be believing in conspiracy theory is not a requirement to be a libertarian. It's a requirement to be a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. However, I would say that everybody's a conspiracy theorist. Um, like, you know, the whole globe believes in, in some conspiracy theory or another. It's called critical thinking, not okay. conspiracies. We are critical thinkers, and we look at facts. Okay. Uh, People that haven't come theory. to the same conclusion to you are not stupid. Are you aware of that? That's right. They haven't learned yet. Okay. <laughs> all hail the mighty Mike. Yeah. He knows all. Yeah, Mike's got it all okay. down. He is the critical thinker. We as are just pleased. Okay. As an engineer, as a pilot, as a person who has varying degrees in many fields, I have a different perspective than many people who sit in front of the TV. So when I speak about certain things, people tend to listen because I kind of know what I'm talking about. Well, a conspiracy right. theorist Congratulations, likes to you can drive an airplane. A conspiracy <laughs> theorist likes to sound like they know what they're talking about, uh, and they certainly may have a bunch of what they consider yeah. to be facts, but there's usually somebody on the other side who has what they consider to be facts, and 
and they feel like they know what they're talking about. But you that's really watch- irrelevant because the, while they're busy arguing over who did what on 9-11, the government continued to grow. Yeah, that's if true. If the 9-11 conspiracy theorists were going to do anything to stop the inexorable growth of government, they would have done it in the first 10 years. And that's why I say the 9-11 truth movement is dead and that people who are still oh, no, talking it's not about Mark. it. They're still, uh, they're still out at Central Square. They're busy Square wasting their time. Absolutely. Yeah. They got a radio show. Just because you don't have any faith in people being awakened doesn't mean the rest of us don't. But here's the idea on the. So you on failed the, on your uh, accusation ICT. that we aren't libertarian because we no. don't agree with he your conspiracy He absolutely theory. succeeded, 100 percent exceeded, now, succeeded. What he wanted I, to do was derail the conversation to talk about 9/11 because to him it's important. He succeeded. You, no, that's not know, a success because we let people call in about anything. He did not succeed in explaining why we weren't libertarian. That was what I asked him to do. He did not succeed at all in that way. Uh, go ahead, Mike. One more point. Go ahead. What else? Besides conspiracy theory, how else are we not libertarian in your mind? Or is that it? When you, when you cease to recognize the truth and change your way, that's all you got. It's the truth. That's all you got. You're, you're a propagandist. Brother, well, you're just a guy on the no, phones. Mike, I don't know if you got the truth. Hold on, Mike. Who the hell are you? I don't have any clue why Building 7 came down. Uh, I don't I, have I, any I, idea I, what happened on 9-11, Mike. And I'm going to go I, one I, step I, further. I, I, you don't either. Yeah. <laughs> just because, you know, just because we don't agree doesn't mean that uh, we believe the government. Just because right. we're not falling in line lockstep with Alex Jones or whoever the conspiracy, you know, d- loose change or, you know, whatever pitch, you know, the, the people that believe that aliens took down the towers. I mean, there's a bunch of different conspiracies out right. there about I'll that. I'll argue whatever premise you want. You want to argue the premise that uh, we need more liberty, that uh, we need more government because, uh, the you know, the Bush administration brought down the towers on 9-11. I'll argue from that premise. Or you want to argue that we need uh, more government uh, from... From the standpoint that, uh, you know, some Middle Easterners did it. I don't care what the premise is. I'll argue your premise as long as we're arguing for more liberty. But if your claim is, is that I don't believe the way you believe, and so therefore I am not a critical thinker, ergo I am stupid, you're not going to get anywhere. Yeah, that's not persuasive, Mike, to call the people you're trying to persuade stupid. Are you still there? Yeah, we're right here. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, what I was going to say is that if I can prove to you a truth, will you accept it? If I can show you right now before your very eyes on your computer a truth, will you change your viewpoint about an issue? Well, of course, if uh, if I can accept new information that is valid, uh, I would absolutely right. be willing to reassess my viewpoint. I've changed my mind on a number of things over the years. We were talking about sure. earlier about how I used to believe in violence as a solution, and now I believe in right. peace. So what is it that okay. you're going to show us that is so persuasive? It's going to be on a crackpot website, and you know it is. I want to see what he's talking about. What is it? What is the issue? Uh, how about mainstream media? Uh, do you remember back in 2011 in West Memphis, Arkansas, they shot and killed Jerry Kane and his son at a Walmart parking lot claiming that they had shot two officers on the interstate. Yeah. They called these guys the the uh, Sovereign Citizen Movement. Yeah, yep, that's right. Yep. Okay. Did they, they have video of it? Street. They did. They do. They do. Here's the thing. Jerry Kane is six foot five inches tall. Okay. okay? That's a fact. That's a, that's It's in his autopsy. All right. Okay. You where, can look that you're going to have to show me that video. evidence. What's the relevance <laughs> of how tall Kane. he was? Of- All right, watch the video. The man in the video, they're claiming his Jerry Kane is standing right beside the minivan. The Dodge minivan is five foot four inches tall. This man is as tall as the minivan. Jerry Kane would be a foot taller. That so is where is actor. Jerry Kane today? Oh, he's dead. They killed him, but that was an actor. That was a staged video. He was assassinated along with his son. He had what? nothing to do with that shooting. They, the, so the yeah. guy who you say was shot by the police is actually dead and was killed by the government, but then they staged... A video where they killed an actor? Yes. Now, they staged the shooting of Bob Powder's son was killed and Mr. Uh, Evans. Both officers were killed. In the video, the officer they're showing riding the ticket they claim is Mr. Evans. Look at the guy's bulky neck. He's on steroids. Go back a month early on Channel 5 WMC News where he was interviewed. The man is tall, skinny, spindly. So what you're he saying is, just to clarify, you're saying the video the where... Okay, i got to ask questions to clarify because it shows that I'm trying to understand what you're saying here. So you're saying the video in which the police are shot by these two alleged sovereign citizens, including this guy Jerry, you're saying that in that video those are not in point of fact the people – that is not in point of fact Jerry is what you're saying and that the, the police murdered him later anyway even though he didn't kill cops. Correct. 
correct, because the actor is, is as tall as the Dodge minivan, which is a foot shorter than Jerry King. I own a Dodge minivan. I'm six foot five. I okay. know I stand a foot taller than a minivan. Well, so, thank you for the call, great. Mike. I appreciate hearing from you. Uh, I don't know why that they would bother faking that, but, you know, maybe they did. I don't know. Even so. I don't care. Once again, the same thing we say about every conspiracy theory is, what difference does it make? Yeah, it really doesn't make a difference. It's, I mean, it's not going to wake. It's not going to wake people up. No, and if go, it does wake them up, gonna they're just going to look them. for more conspiracy theories. They're not going to do anything to pr- promote freedom. There's plenty of videos out there where the government is not murdering actors, you know, and uh, and I've got a problem with that. When the government hurts peaceful people, unless they aren't peaceful and they were actually a danger. It's Free Talk Live. Share your thoughts. Are you searching for your soulmate, someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Currency is too important a thing to be left in the hands of government bureaucrats, especially when billions of dollars can be created with the swipe of a pen. Overstock.com supports the cryptocurrency movement because it returns the power of an inflation-proof money to the people where it belongs. Did you know that you can use Bitcoin to pay for anything Overstock.com sells while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more? If you support freedom in the cryptocurrency movement, you should support Overstock.com. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his Porcupine Freedom Scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Monday, October 19th, 2015. Silver is trading at $15.90 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,175 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $265. Antiwar.com reports the pro-Saudi Hadi government in Yemen, which controls parts of southern Yemen, has agreed to attend a new round of UN-brokered peace talks to be held with the Shiite Houthi faction and unspecified international factions. The Hadi government has spurned several recent efforts at peace talks, most recently a high-profile September effort brokered by Oman. Hadi backed out of the talks a few days prior, insisting that any participation was conditional on the Houthis surrendering all cities and disarming. The last time Hadi delegates actually attended talks was in June when they refused to be in the same room with the Houthi delegates throughout. The only time they were in the same room was when Hadi delegates attacked a Houthi press conference, sparking a fist fight. It's unclear what sparked the Hadi side to agree to talks this time, though in recent days they've tried to spin Houthi comments supportive of the peace process as proof that they're close to surrendering outright. The Houthis, by contrast, have been saying they support a peace process all along, so they may be setting themselves up for disappointment. Are you an advocate for free market money? Do you promote Bitcoin as an alternative in a fiat-centric world? Then you need spend a bit in your arsenal. The search engine for things you can buy with Bitcoin. Spend a bit aggregates millions of products from thousands of Bitcoin-enabled merchants. Keep your money in the free economy. Visit spendabit.co today. Bitcoin merchants, ask about our merchant suite to reach even more customers. Spendabit.co 
UPI reports Secretary of State John Kerry confirmed on Sunday he will meet with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas this week in an effort to calm tensions that have left dozens dead in both regions. Kerry will travel to Germany to meet with Netanyahu first and travel to an undetermined location in the Middle East to meet with Abbas and Jordanian King Abdullah. Speaking at a lunch in Paris at the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization's headquarters, Kerry said he will also hold a meeting during the same trip to discuss the crisis in Syria. The exact dates for the meetings have not been disclosed. Kerry said, later this week I will meet with Prime Minister Netanyahu because he will be in Germany and then I will go to the region. I will meet with President Abbas. I will meet King Abdullah of Jordan and others and in between I will have some key meetings on the subject of Syria with critical players. Kerry's announcement came as Hassan Nasrallah, leader of Lebanon Shiite Hezbollah group, praised the Palestinians and said standing up to Israel is the duty of all Muslims. In the past month, at least eight Israelis have been killed in attacks, mostly stabbings by Palestinians. At the same time, at least 40 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli military fire. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports many Egyptian voters shunned the first phase of a parliamentary election on Sunday that President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi has held as a milestone on the road to democracy, but his critics have branded a sham. Polling stations visited by Reuters correspondents pointed to a turnout of around 10% in sharp contrast to the long lines that formed in the 2012 election, suggesting that CC, who has enjoyed cult-like adulation, is losing popularity. Elderly supporters of CC comprised a large portion of those turning out to vote, while younger Egyptians boycotted the election for a chamber they say will just rubber stamp the president's decisions. Ahmed Mustafa said, it's not going to matter, it's just for show, to show that we're a democracy and we have an election, and blah blah blah. Egypt has had no parliament since June 2012 when a court dissolved the democratically elected main chamber, then dominated by the Muslim Brotherhood, reversing a key accomplishment of the 2011 uprising that toppled Hosni Mubarak. Muslim Brotherhood officials Wafa Hefni told Reuters, the election is a farce. I don't think anyone in Egypt is taking it seriously. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. According to a groundbreaking new study published Thursday in the New England Journal of Medicine, psychologists have discovered that the average person, while ostensibly appearing to be normal and mentally sound in their day-to-day -day lives, immediately becomes a deranged psychotic when alone at home. We observed hundreds of subjects with successful careers, numerous friends and loving families perfectly normal. But as soon as they were at their homes by themselves, they began presenting behavior consistent with those suffering from dementia, schizophrenia, and various other acute mental illnesses. Researchers illustrated the study's findings with footage of 29-year-old test subject Brian Temple, who, despite having a steady job and maintaining an ordinary social life, exhibited increasingly erratic and unstable activity from the moment he was alone in his apartment, including dancing in his kitchen to no music whatsoever. He loves coming making grotesque faces in the mirror for extended periods of time, and seemingly having conversations with no one in particular. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour of the program. You can join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The government saying they're going to require you to register your drones now. That's right. You have to register your toys with the government. It's a, they've got a remote control airplane license now. Yeah. Uh, we can tell you more about that, but of course, your calls here come first. We want to hear from you, what's important to you. This is Free Talk Live, and you can join us via Skype at Skype username lrn.fm in studio. It's Ian. And James. And Mark. Let's go to TJ listening in St. Louis. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, TJ. 
Hey, Ian, I just wanted to talk to you about the new London, New York State Police High IQ test. Yes, yes, where they, yeah. they would refuse uh, a, a job applicant, a, a job as a police officer, if they scored too high of an IQ. That is correct. And basically it was ruled not to be discrimination because they said they applied the same discriminatory standard to everybody. In other words, anyone who is too smart didn't get hired. So it wasn't, a, you know, it wasn't discrimination to not hire this one particular guy because they didn't hire anybody who was too smart. That's and ridiculous. Okay, now that's dumb. <laughs> Look, well, well I, no, because you see, Mark, you have to understand the law. They had a rational basis. That doesn't mean it was a smart idea. They had a ra one rational reason, however crazy it may be, and the rational basis given was that people with high IQs are more likely to quit and therefore cost the government money through high employee turnover. That may very well be the case, and I don't disagree with yes. uh, an employer's well, ability to hire somebody with a high IQ and a low IQ, but to suggest that it's not discrimination because you're choosing to discriminate against people who are, have high IQs, um, you know, that's just that's just playing with the words. That's like saying yes, we no, let— I totally, I, I totally uh, agree with you, Mark, but of course I also believe that we don't, you know, we haven't taken this line of logic far enough. Think about like public school teachers. If your IQ is too high, you're likely to quit and become bored. So we need to implement caps that if you have too high of an IQ, you can't be a public school teacher <laughs> or a parking meter enforcer or a tax collector or a judge. And, you know, despite how crazy this might sound, I would like to point out that the government is actually late to the party. The private sector has been doing this for years in trying to screen for certain jobs, like sure. if you want to be a telemarketer, they ask you questions like, would you rather be in a meeting or would you rather answer memos? So there's no questions that where the answer is obviously right. But using advanced mathematical analysis, mathematicians can actually take your answers to these very crazy questions and make kind of accurate predictions on whether or not you're going to quit within five years. Hmm. And this has you know, led to a whole industry of people if you want to get a job, you need to know the right answer to give. And so if you're going to apply to be a special agent, you need to know what the right answer to the questions are. And, you know, so that if you want the job, because you got to, you know, if you have an IQ, you can always pretend to have a lower IQ than what you have. Sure. If you'd have known, if he would have known when he had taken this test that it would have been an issue, he could have, you know, Christmas yeah, treat a little yeah, bit and he'd have been fine. In fact, that might actually be the sign of the smartest intelligence. You know, when you're you're so smart, you know when you need to appear to be dumb. Right. Well, yes, uh, officer, I will just do whatever it is I'm told. I don't question authority. Thanks well, for the actually, call. Well, actually, Ian, yes. Ian, if you, yeah, even if you do take the FBI aptitude exam, that is exactly the kind of answers they want to hear. Thanks for the call, TJ. I appreciate hearing My from pleasure. you. Let's go to Virgil. He's on the line, calling from, I believe, Ohio. Virgil Vaduva, welcome to Free Talk Live. Good evening, guys. How are you doing? Hey, great to uh, to have you on the show. You're actually coming on because I requested that you come on to Free Talk Live. We've had you on in the studio before. Uh, you're an activist in Ohio. You are the publisher over at truthvoice.com, but you're also the man behind Cell 411. Yes, which... Ian. I really appreciate you asking me to be on. Uh, you're you're such a great guy and a huge backer. Of, uh, Fifty dollars uh, isn't a, isn't a huge uh, backing amount, well, but it's something I it threw is. in today. It is. I mean, it adds up. That's yeah. uh, you know that helps. So I, I do appreciate it. You've talked a lot about it, and uh, I'm very thankful for that. You're doing a fundraiser to support Cell 411 to release it as free software. But tell our listeners what it is in the first place. Sure. So Cell 411 is basically a mi micro social network or a platform and an app, a mobile app that allows activists and uh, you know uh, family members and and pretty much anyone who has any sort of emergencies to handle and and you know deal with these emergencies in a way uh, other than involving government employees so in other words you reach out to trusted friends and family members and neighbors and and other folks uh, who are not police officers or may not necessarily be government employees and you notify them in almost real time of basically emergencies whether it's a car broken down or whether or not you're involved in activism, cop blocking or being arrested or witness police violence or you want to stream video live to your friends or family members or neighbors, you can do all these things with this app. So um, not to pat myself on the shoulder, right, on the back, but I think in the last three months we've managed to put together a pretty, pretty decent app that's uh, – Hey, maybe it's a premium app for activists today in America. I would like to think that. 
I don't know. Maybe I'm too, uh, you know, too optimistic. Well, I think we're going to have to test your IQ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, there's no doubt Virgil's a brilliant programmer. I mean, you put this app together in like a month or two's time, and you released it for 99 cents on both the Android and the iPhone stores. Uh, and it's it's awesome. It works really well. The first version worked right out of the box. There's another app that we've talked about previously on this program that tried to do what you have done successfully, and they failed at it. Uh, I'm sorry, but they failed at it miserably. Uh, and then they, they attempted to raise uh, even more funds to fix the broken app that they released. And the amount of funds they were trying to raise to fix their broken app was something like seven times the amount that you're trying to raise to upgrade or to rather release your app for free. So if you raise the $10,000 that you're looking to raise at this GoFundMe uh, campaign, gofundme.com slash sell411, you will release this app, which is only 99 cents right now. You'll release it as a free app on both right. iPhone and Android, correct? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, what's happening, Ian, is it's a psychological uh, thing that's happening in the mobile app business where even this minute amount of 99 cents is actually keeping users from adopting or, or you know, uh, installing an application. And since I really, really believe very strongly in what in what this app does, I think I honestly believe that it can change the the way activism is done in the world. Um, and really promote the ideas of liberty as well at the same time. And, and that's why I really want to make it free. And not because uh, I don't care about making money off of this. I, I happily have been basically uh, subsidizing the development cost of, mm -hmm. of, you know, for the app. But mostly, you know, to be honest with you, if we reach a goal of $5,000, you know, the app will be free for everyone. $10,000 is a very, you know, a very optimistic goal, which I'm not sure it will reach. But that's for the foreseeable future. That amount will not necessarily cover the development expenses or the salaries of developers that are helping out. But uh, it will mostly cover for the foreseeable future the hosting expenses, licensing costs associated with video streaming, and, and so on. And that's pretty much enough to, uh, to cover all our expenses. Because I don't mind, you know, subsidizing uh, cost of development, but these monthly, you know, month-to-month -month expenses kind of add up after a while, and I would like to not be involved in that if I, if I can. Yeah, no, so totally understood. Well, I mean, you and I discussed on Facebook having the different tiers of the app where – like the free app could not have video streaming, for instance. Right. Uh, Which, I don't need that. I, honestly, I, you know, I don't need an app that does it all. Uh, I like that Cell 411 sends out alerts. That's what it does best, in my opinion. If right. I want video streaming, I'm going to bring up Bambuser. I'm going to use that to uh, to stream out just because that's something that they focus. That's the only, only thing their right. app does, you know, and it does a good job at it. Yeah, that's very true. We we are trying to to package it all in one place to be kind of you know the the you know toolkit for activists if we can, uh, and we're trying to really do as best of a job as we can at, at all these features. But uh, overall, I, I I recognize what you're saying. We've looked at the in-app purchasing features mm -hmm. uh, available, and to be honest with you, it would have taken a substantial amount of development work to implement these. You know, buy. You know you know, a la carte type features. And we, we basically decided, you know, screw this. Let's just make it free for everyone. Everyone can win. It can help people all over the world and, and just, you know, get it done. And and we have a new version prepared to release actually oh, tonight. Oh, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Uh, you've got time, right? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. Right. More with Virgil Baduva from Cell411. I, I think it's worth, <laughs> it's certainly worth the 99 cents. So you can go right. and get it right now over at the Apple or the Android stores. Uh, and try it out for yourself, and we'll talk about the fundraiser and what's coming next for the app. Coming up. Think you're fat? You might just be bloated. Find out by calling now for a free trial of New Biotics, the new breakthrough that flattens bloated bellies fast. For a free trial, call 1-800-965-1170. I used to be plagued by pot belly and constant bloating. After taking New Biotics, my belly flattened and continues to get flatter. My sense of bloating and discomfort is gone. If you've got a big belly, you might not be fat. You might just be bloated. New Biotics is scientifically formulated with natural ingredients to flatten bloated bellies fast by cleansing pounds of rotting food and toxic sludge from your body. It even combats periodic heartburn and acid reflux. So just think how much better you'll look and feel. Think you might be bloated? Call now for a free trial of New Biotics and see how much flatter it makes your belly. 1-800-965-1170. 
You might be surprised, but hurry, call now for details while these free trials last. 1-800-965-1170. That's 1-800-965-1170. 1-800-965-1170. Hi, this is Dr. Joel Wallach, the Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy. Have you ever wondered why farmers can keep their livestock lean and healthy just by feeding them minerals in a nutrient-dense diet? Before market, they cut off their minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains to fatten them up. So if weight control is this easy, why does the medical system prescribe invasive surgical gastric bypass for humans? The truth be told, according to research, you can avoid over 900 different diseases just by getting 90 essential nutrients daily. Check us out on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com and order your Healthy Start Pack and get your 90 for life. Or dial 855-301-TEAM. I said essential, not optional, and every day. Easy. 90 for life on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com or call 855-301-TEAM. That's 855-301-TEAM. That's 855-301-TEAM. Check us out on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com at sonsoflibertyteam.com. Money, power, and respect are all yours at Credit Success Secrets Revealed. Com. Be seen as an industry leader. You can do it. The last application you filled out when it was time to hit submit, did your nerves spike? You didn't get the approval you seek, but there's a better way. We teach you exactly what to place into the right systems the right way the first time so you get approved. Get up to $100,000 in instant business credit. Many people will get cash on the spot. Use those two tools in your new corporate credit engine. So you can walk into the bank and get your project funded today. It's all about today at CreditSuccessSecretsRevealed.com. Credit Success Secrets Revealed is explosive and ignites instant results. Dial 1-800-707-8719. That's 1-800-707-8719. 1-800-707-8719. Or just go to Credit Success Secrets Revealed. Dot com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live, and you can join us right here, toll free at 855-450-FREE. And also Skype us at Skype username LRN.FM. Perhaps you are a shopper at Amazon and you've purchased all manner of different things there, right? Because they've got huge selection, lots of different categories, all kinds of products at great prices. There's no doubt about that. That's why they're a tremendous success. Now, imagine getting 20% off everything you buy at Amazon from this point forward. That's going to add up. That's going to add up fast. And that's what's happened for me when I've been using SaveItPurse.com to purchase things through Amazon. I've saved 20, 25, 30, 35, 40%. I have saved as much as 40%. Mark, you've saved as much as 45%. Just saved 30% right now. Um, you've, On we've, what? Got, we've got to purchase a, a pair of shoes. Nice. I, I buy the same brand of shoes over and over again. You know they fit you, so you don't have to try them on. I have, I've had back problems in the past, and it seems like a new pair of shoes every six months it is helps. helpful in this area. I'm not 100% sure whether this is just voodoo, but it doesn't really matter. Um, ultimately, you know, you pay, you, I, I've got these inserts, and the, the inserts fit nicely in them. They happen to be Merrells, if anyone cares. Uh, but they're hiking nice shoes. Yeah. yeah um, you know, and, and I like them. 
but why am I going to the you know the store where I'm paying you know 120 dollars per pair six months every six months when I can go through purse uh, excuse me uh, save at purse.com and that's uh, save at purse.com and get it for 30 percent off it, I know I'm going to get the shoes, so you just put the the purchase out there, let it sit around for a week or two or whatever. Somebody will pick it up ultimately. And they did. And, and they you did. can do that too. Just go to saveatpurse.com. The catch is you have to have Bitcoin. If you don't have Bitcoin, then you can't get these big savings. Uh, but if you've got Bitcoin, you're good to go. And if you even if you don't yet have Bitcoin, just go to saveatpurse.com and get started there. Learn more about it. Watch their intro video and create your account. When you create your account through saveatpurse.com, Free Talk Live will get a very small portion of your future purchases. So uh, you can join us here, and we've got Virgil Vaduva on the line. He's the designer, the developer of Cell 411, which I have on my smartphone, but I want more people to have on their phones. And... One of the problems, as you pointed out, Virgil, with the mobile phone app world is that people are used to getting things for free. And this is, of course, true about the Internet in general. People are used to getting their news for free. So when they come across a news paywall on a website, they balk and they're not going to pay it because they can go somewhere else to get their news. And there's plenty of apps out there, and most of them are free. So there's people are spoiled like that, and it's really hard to uh, to get around that. Yeah, and um, I I had this the situation. I didn't get Virgil's app, right? <laughs> and the reason was is I guess my phone was set up with the wrong credit card somehow or another. I, the purchase wasn't going through, and I never took the time to figure out uh, you know how to get Google the right credit card in order to do it. I didn't know which buttons to push in order to make that happen. So it was just just easier not to do something than it was to do it. And I would say that, yes, I am as spoiled as anybody, but I would I was willing to spend the buck, um, as it were. But, but you some, weren't willing to actually go through the process of correcting your credit card information. Right. I think I had to go on the regular computer to do that as opposed to doing no, it on my handheld. I don't my think so. Handheld. Well, I didn't, sure you can do it on your phone. It's not like I had my card Virgil, on me either. Uh, cell 411, it's pretty simple in its design. Do you think someone like Mark, who can't figure out how to update his <laughs> credit card information, is going to be able to use cell 411? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Mark has the app. I think I we've set up some training classes for him. <laughs> 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 I do not have the app. It's not like you gave that thing to me for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's those funny. are all good points. I, I know what you mean. And this, these are really the problems that, that I run into with a lot of people. I, I get emails from people almost every day saying, oh, this is such a great idea, but, you know, why is it not free? I don't I don't spend the money on it. And It's, it's really, a dollar. It's, I, I know. It, if it was easy to spend a dollar on it, if it was Bitcoin, I would have done it in an instant because mm. it would have been that easy. But right. credit cards, they're, so, they're complicated. So making it free, I'm really hoping you will eliminate this this barrier that's keeping some people away. And honestly, Ian, you and me, we've talked about college kids and how college students are. You know, they may have a dollar, but they don't want to spend it. So making the app free. Oh, they not- will spend it. They'll spend it on beer and uh, exactly. pizza. But they're right. not going to spend it on an app. Let me talk. Let me talk a little bit about this college kids idea because I think there's a cool factor to uh, or a cool uh, feature of the app that we haven't really touched on yet. Yes, you can send out an alert to your friends and your uh, family members, whoever it is that you know that has this app, because you know as right. long as they have the app, then you can get each other on your lists and you can have different lists of different people that you might want to send an alert to, which is really awesome. And that if that's all Cell Four One One did, it'd be a killer app. But you added a feature that actually allows you to what was it called patrol mode or something like that tell me about that it's it's patrol mode so patrol mode is basically a button you flip on it actually comes on enabled by default and it basically creates a 50 mile radius uh, around you around your current location and if another cell 411 user that you are not connected with you may be a total stranger uh, if that user issues uh, a global alert um, let's say his or her car breaks down, you know, 20 miles down the street from you. They don't know anyone. They're traveling through the area. They issue this global alert. They're scared. They need a tire change. You will actually, if you have patrol mode enabled, you will receive this alert from this total stranger, and you have the option to go help a stranger should they ask for help. And I think this really crosses the boundaries of, you know, just creating these silos, whether it's families or neighbors and so on, and it kind of pushes the app. And the idea of voluntarily helping other people, it pushes it beyond these barriers. And I think it's actually a really cool feature, in my opinion. I think it's huge because if you think about it from a cop block aspect, 
Uh, here in Keene, we do cop blocking, which is, you know, copblock.org. Our listeners, many of our listeners are familiar with this. It's a liberty or it's mostly a liberty oriented group uh, that uh, that promotes police accountability. And when you go out and you physically in real life do cop blocking, that means, you know, you're going out, you're recording the police when they're messing with people and you're informing people of their rights. Anyway, uh, one of our guys here in town, JP, uh, JP Freeman, he's going to be hosting the cop block panel at the upcoming Keenevention, which is in less than two weeks. He has uh, been known to give his cell phone number to college students in the college neighborhood here in Keene. And the purpose what a hero. Of, and the, no, no, no. The I'm purpose of this, you. Mark, is to uh, give his number out in case the cops come try to, like, bust up a house party or something like that. They can then text JP and let them know, hey, the cops are here at this address. And then he'll show up. If he's in the neighborhood, he'll show up with his video camera. And this has happened to where, you know, JP's been out on the streets, right. he's been cop blocking, someone sent him a text and it's worked. And that's cool, but it's only limited to JP because they don't have everyone's phone number and they don't know all the different cop blockers. And if JP's not there, then there's no, you know, they can't be helped, basically. But if this, if these college students have cell 411 and then they send a message saying cops are messing with us, then right. and they send this out to the you know the global alert as you're saying then anyone who's a cop blocker who has cell 411 can respond to that which means everybody yeah. on the streets can can respond instead of just one be, person it could be hundreds of people with one tap of, of your thumb basically could get notified instantly with your current gps coordinates with turn by turn google maps directions right. you know how to get to you it's really really handy i mean yeah i was gonna ask that because that's uh, really important if uh, somebody in 20 miles away needs help with uh, getting a tire changed or something i'm gonna need directions you won't know the neighborhood right to get where they are in order to be able to help them virgil uh, can can you stay for another segment absolutely all right stand by more with virgil vaduva the creator of cell 411 go look for it in your uh, apple store and the play store the fundraiser that is going on right now he's looking to raise ten thousand dollars to make the app free and i think that that's a pretty reasonable price considering the programming work that's gone into it gofundme.com slash sell 411 it's free talk live oh ten thousand dollars or more to the irs get on board with the tax admiral don't pick on the irs alone i'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill sometimes i can even get it zeroed out completely we're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. My dad was 59 when he collapsed from a heart attack late last year. Just this past August was when we spread his ashes on the St. Croix River. I loved my dad. But boy, was he stubborn. He hadn't been to the doctor in over 25 years. His excuse? He simply couldn't afford it. He wasn't a rich man by any means. At less than $107 per month, libertyoncall.org would have been the perfect alternative for my father. Don't wait. Go to libertyoncall.org right now for not just your sake, but for the sake of your loved ones. Again, that's libertyoncall.org. Understanding your credit score is the first step towards managing and improving it. This is Charlie Sundstrom with your Van Dyke Mortgage Minute. The most influential component of your credit score is your payment history. Almost equally as important is the amount you owe on credit accounts. Also impacting your score, but to a lesser degree, are the length of time you've utilized your credit, the number of new accounts, credit inquiries, and your various types of credit accounts. To help achieve or maintain a healthy credit score, have a system set up to assure your bills are always paid on time. Don't max out your cards. It's better to have a high credit limit with a low balance. Never close old accounts. The age of these can actually help your credit score. But don't be afraid to use your credit. You need several accounts in order to have a credit score. Just keep the corresponding payments within your means. For your mortgage pre-approval and refi needs, start by visiting vandykemortgage.com. Corporate NMLS 3035. Van Dyke Mortgage is an equal housing lender. Charlie Sundstrom, NMLS 134251. This year, Roberts and Roberts Brokerage Daily Precious Metals Update. In early trading Monday, gold is down $1 at $1,177 per ounce, and silver is down $0.16 cents at $16.02 per ounce. Bitcoin is currently trading at $264. US Check out our Halloween special on Australian silver spiders. And if you've been looking for silver American eagles, we've lowered the price on those too. So give us a call today at 800-874-9760 or online at rrbi.co. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Keenvention is coming up fast, October 30th through November 1st. Get your tickets now at keenvention.info. Keenvention is an intimate event where you can meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire, including Oath Keeper Chris Reitman, Libertarian presidential candidate Daryl W. Perry, illegal Uber driver Christopher David, Neocash Radio's Dr. Darren Tapp, State Representative Mike Sylvia rated an a by the NHLA, The Seditious Sirens, The Rebel Love Show's Rob Mathias, Tech Guru Brian Sovereign, Cop blocker J.P. Freeman, new mover Dr. Taryn Lupo, longtime political activist Dennis Goddard, Church of the Invisible Hand Minister Rich Paul, Shire Dude, and dozens more. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. That includes access to the Hello Keen Costume Dance Party. Reserve your tickets now at keenvention.info. Visit keenvention.info for more speaker announcements, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You're welcome to join us here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733 in studio. You've got me, Ian. And James. And Mark. And also, you can visit us online at freetalklive.com. All the features on our site are completely free, so download episodes, get interactive in a variety of different ways, or get interactive in real life at the upcoming Bitcoin Investor Conference. Yeah, I'm going to be there, and Free Talk Live's broadcasting live. It's October the 29th and 30th in Las Vegas at the beautiful D Hotel in downtown Las Vegas. They accept Bitcoins at the D Hotel. It's uh, it's going to be a, a great event. They're going to have great speakers. Trace Mayer, Dr. Stephanie Murphy, uh, Stephen Michaels is putting the event on. He'll be, of course, uh, speaking also. Um, Brian Sovereign, Bitcoin Bell. It's a huge lineup, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Check it out uh, at BitcoinInvestor.com. And we're giving away some free tickets on our Facebook page. You go to, um, I think we're going to be drawing the winners tomorrow. So I thought you said Wednesday, but I could be wrong. Is it Wednesday tomorrow? Nope. Today's Monday. It's Monday. Oh, well, there you go. Day after tomorrow, uh, we'll be drawing a winner. Go to Facebook.FreeTalkLive.com. Just make a guess. Guess a number between 1 and 1,000, and we'll be giving away some tickets. See if you get one. BitcoinInvestor.com to find the lineup and find out everything else you need to know. BitcoinInvestor.com. All right, so Cell 411, the fundraiser, it's going on right now. It just kicked off uh, this afternoon, so it's brand new. You can be one of the initial contributors over at GoFundMe.com slash Cell 411. That's C-E-L-L 411. Virgil Vaduva is with us here on the phones. We were talking about the one of the things that makes this just a, an amazing app is the patrol mode, where normally Cell 411 allows you to just send a the standard operation of this App, app is to uh, send an alert to your friends, to your family members, or whoever it is you've gotten to also download the app. Uh, and uh, you can send an alert like some sort of emergency is happening to you. Maybe there's a fire, it's a medical emergency, the police are harassing you. There are several different, uh, uh, I guess, alerts that you can send out. Uh, you're being pulled over, uh, That you, there's uh, you're being bullied, stuff's on fire, criminal activity, I'm cop blocking, so I'm, I'm reading off of some of the alerts that you can send here. But patrol mode allows you to send alerts and receive alerts, or rather allows you to receive alerts from anyone in the area, even if they're not on your friends list. Which yeah, this opens, is invaluable. This is huge. This is going to change the cop blocking game, because if cop blockers can go out and they can turn people onto this app, if they can say, hey, look, you know, we can't guarantee we're going to respond, but your friends might respond. Here, download this app and we'll get you set up. You could walk someone through it, right? Like you could stand there while they downloaded the app and give them a tutorial or whatever. Whereas if you have to pay 99 cents, 
That's not going to happen. A stranger right. is it's it's hard enough to convince your friends and your family to pay 99 cents to download an app that could save their life or keep them out of jail uh and it's going to be next to impossible to convince a yep. total stranger to do the same thing. So that's one of the reasons you're looking to raise $10,000 to release this app free to the world, right? Yep, that's the reason, and uh, it's it's really the main reason. I, I just want users to adopt this app, and to be honest with you, like I mentioned earlier, we don't even have to raise. That's just a that's just an amount I put out there to see where we go. Well, it's good to uh, shoot for the moon if you want to make it, it over the fence. <laughs> it's, right? That's very true. Yeah. But Ian, you know, the next iteration is out. We're going to actually release uh, two new versions within the next week, Ooh. most likely. Tell me more uh, about that. What's what's going to be new in Cell Four? Oh man, some really really cool stuff. One feature. Uh, that's pro probably going to be in the second release here in the next week uh, will be uh, basically some GPS coordinates that are known for uh, for police brutality and police incidents. So when you drive or you're present within that area within a certain range. <laughs> Look out! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you alert. Wow, red zones. Phone. Yeah. And then the, the another big, big feature would be the ability to uh, to have a dispatch mode. And the Ooh. dispatch mode came about after a request from a volunteer fire department. Uh, they, this fire department, they cannot afford to have a dispatcher on staff. It's expensive. Um, even if yeah. even being part of the mutual aid is it? They 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 just, they just hit you with those fees. Right, right. And and basically, they they reached out to me and they said, "Hey, Virgil, we love this app. It's perfect for what we do for volunteer interaction and and volunteer emergency response. But we don't have a dispatcher. How do we dispatch? Uh, you know." fire uh, fire department uh, type work to a certain location so dispatch mode once you enable it it basically will allow you to issue alerts to a location other than where you presently are so you can you can tap on an alert and then you can f drop a pin on the map and the alert will be issued from that location now this would only be i hope for your your friends the people on your list right you wouldn't want someone to just be able to do that like uh, to send That's it right. globally because then you, no. then that could mean someone was kind of messing with the system right. or could mess with people it. People will get really confused if we do that. This is only for friend from friends, uh, you know, and family members and people you know uh, within your close, you know, cell. That's so, awesome, dude. So yeah. so let me tell you how that can help with cop blocking too. Like I'm glad that that's going to help for volunteer fire dispatch. That's another great killer app for this. Uh, but that's this gonna, could eliminate to some extent, at least for the small departments. This could eliminate thousands of dollars per year yeah. in right. costs but you know like virgil's having trouble coming up with uh you know donors to give ten thousand to this 10 departments you know yeah no doubt about it um so here's how i can help cop blocking you can do the same thing we, we've actually had at one time we had a guy when we were doing cop blocking uh steve z in the area he would sit and listen to the police scanner and then he would call out to us on our two ways our two-way radios where the police activity was Someone could do that same thing now with the new upcoming version of Cell 411, where they're sitting there. They're the only one who's monitoring. Their only job is to monitor the police frequency. Then they can send out Cell 411s as to where the police calls are coming in from. Because right. it's a pain in the butt. I've been out on the streets doing cop blocking. It is a pain in the butt to have to monitor the cell phone. Like I can, I can tune into the police scanner because here in Keene we have a police scanner feed for this purpose. I can listen to that on my cell phone. I got that in my one ear. In my other ear, I have my two-way radio, and then I'm trying to talk to people on the streets at the same time. And if somebody, you know, if there's a call coming across the police scanner, and I'm talking with some college students about their rights, I'm gonna miss that call. Right. But if somebody's in dispatch and they, you know, they put something on cell 411 saying, oh, you know, over on Baker Street, whatever there's a call and then i can decide to after i'm done with my conversation or whatever i can look at cell 411 and see if there's anything fresh that sounds amazing you said that's happening in an upcoming release like within yes. the next two weeks yes that that should be actually in the next in the very next release and uh wow. and then we have we, well, i'm not even done we have more features things <laughs> like a fake a fake delete button for video streams so that way if you if you're cornered <laughs> by a violent by a violent police officer who observed you. <laughs> or another per violent person who wants you to uh, st sure. delete something. Right. You, you can just show them, hey, look, you know, I'm going to delete this video. It's basically a fake button. It's not actually going to delete, <laughs> you know, to delete the video. And then the video is still stored on our servers and, uh, you know, will be still available for download later wow. on. So, um, yeah, we're going to go out.
so what worth you- a dollar. So worth a dollar. But right. but you want to give this thing away for free. You've got to raise. Uh, your goal is ten thousand dollars. The website is GoFundMe.com slash sell four one one. I was the second person to throw in. I threw it fifty bucks at this. I think it's well worth it. We'll post it You're on awesome. the, the Free Talk Live's Facebook page. But um, I already did. Tell me what uh, what are when when people are funding for this ten thousand dollars. What are they funding? Because oftentimes people want to know that. Right. Um, what what is it that they're you know paying for? Yeah, so I basically have a, a team of full time, pretty much full time developers uh, working on this around the clock. That's how we're able to put, push these features out so quickly. I'm paying for that myself. I've already spent well over ten grand. I bet you uh, have. Actually, well over ten thousand dollars of my own money, obviously, to to subsidize this. Thank you. Um, I don't expect. Yeah, no problem. Of course, this this is a guys. This is a principle. This is a project. Based in principles, not not a desire to uh, to make money or anything. Yeah, you like can't that. make money very effectively at activism. I mean, a lot of people no. have tried, and it is just not a profitable enterprise typically. Right. So, so you know, I'm hoping that if we raise enough, maybe some of that will will offset the cost. I don't really care as much about that, but I want to make sure that we have our coast. We have servers hosting in in Amazon Web Services in AWS. Amazon has a very solid hosting environment. We have servers hosted there. Uh, we have some other uh, database and an API type of uh, front end uh, calls that we need to make to uh, to another you know service provider. Which right now it's single threaded, and I would like to start paying them for service because when you pay, they allow you to make multiple calls a second, you know, and increase the number the number of calls that you can make API calls. All right, we're getting a little uh, too the, technical, but uh, thank right. you, Virgil. And I think it's awesome. Uh, the website, again, GoFundMe.com slash Sell411. Thank you, and keep us up to date on the developments, because this is the, one of the guys. most exciting apps out there, in my opinion. Thanks, Virgil. Thank this you. This is Free Talk Live. As a pioneer of the e-commerce movement, Overstock.com is proud to be the first major retailer to accept Bitcoin. Overstock was the first because Patrick Byrne, Overstock's CEO and founder, firmly believes in personal freedom and cryptocurrency. Over the past 16 years, Overstock has furnished over 18 million homes with a diverse line of products to suit everyone's unique styles and preferences. Support Overstock and freedom of choice while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. So you've got to take a state construction license exam or certification. Can't decide on what books or what chapters to study? Discover right now how you can eliminate unnecessary books and wasted study time. At ContractorExam.com, our study materials zero in on state-required test topics in an effective, multiple-choice format. So whether you're a plumber, electrician, general contractor, or other construction-related trade, ContractorExam.com will help get you prepared. Visit us at www.ContractorExam.com today. A revolution in body protection has arrived only at FortressSurvivalLLC.com. Introducing the revolutionary patented Level 3 Bulletproof Vest. 100% Kevlar, 100% American made. Concealable, fully adjustable, and the lowest price on the market. Adult size normally $289.99, now just $250. Kid size normally $239.99, now just $200. Get affordable protection with a Level 3A Bulletproof Vest from FortressSurvivalLLC.com. For thou art my rock in my fortress. Psalm 31.3. Citing their effortless physical strength, affability, and notable base tans, reports from the country's pools, lakes, and beaches have indicated that once again, the nation's Blakes coasted effortlessly through this year's seasonal lifeguard tryouts. Onion reporters spoke with Cincinnati Centennial Pools manager, Charles Walker, about the exceptional performance of his Blakes. We always see strong performances from Blakes, but this year's crop did especially well. Blake D did the 25-yard underwater swim in 86 seconds. Blake S and Blake C both carried subjects 40 yards without breaking a sweat. In addition to qualifying as pool managers and certified aquatics instructors, the nation's Blake significantly outshined the nation's stewards in swimming, performing CPR, diving, and glistening. I'm definitely looking forward to being a lifeguard this summer. I heard the test was kind of hard, but it was actually kind of easy. Our Kaylas are looking pretty strong too. As long as we have a few Blakes and Kaylas out there on the weekends, we'll be set. 
This is the Onion News Network. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road Underground Market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross has been sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Now, an appeal is Ross's only chance, and he needs your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Join us here toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com. And enjoy the website and the features that you'll find there. If you like Free Talk Live and you want to help support this program, one of the things you can do for us is to donate $5 per month to Free Talk Live to help us expand the program, to help us get on more radio stations around the country, to bring more internet listeners on board and expose new people to the ideas of freedom, expand our satellite footprint as well. We can do all those things and more with your five bucks a month. So please go and you'll get perks. You'll get access to the AMP only call in lines. Uh, there's the AMP only Facebook group and more. Go and learn more and get signed up with any major credit card through PayPal or use Visa or MasterCard right there uh, on our site at amp.freetalklive.com. That's A M P AMP dot free talk live dot com once again if you uh didn't get the url for the cell 411 fundraiser i'm super excited about this gofundme.com slash cell 411 i sure hope that that reaches its goal because i think it's probably the most important activist app out there uh tied i would say it's tied up there with uh with bambuser Bam, 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 Bambuser is a great app for well, recording it's gonna video. Take, it's going to have the facets of bambuser here um it already does have the facets of bambuser so you know, I mean, whether does. whether or not uh, you particularly prefer it for that, mm. it's honestly still... I haven't even tried that aspect of cell four one one. I'm, I'm, you know, it's interest. It interests me, uh, but uh, you know, I'm just saying it's it's that important of an app. People should have both of those apps, in my opinion. Uh, and Bambuser is free, and hopefully, cell four one one soon will be. With your help at GoFundMe.com slash Cell411. All right, so we were discussing the idea previously of this domestic terror supposed threat. And uh, if you want to comment on that, you're welcome to. Inquisitor.com has the story about the government requiring you to register drones. That is supposed, uh, supposedly coming soon. Justin Strait reporting, the U.S. government will soon require consumers to register newly purchased drones with the Department of Transportation. Officials will announce the details on, well, apparently today, along with plans to form a task force on the flying devices. Ooh, we always need more government task forces. Uh, will the plan stop the dozens of close call situations caused by drone operators? The basic idea is if a drone is caught in the wrong place, it could be traced back to whoever bought it, making users think twice about flying the machines into dangerous situations, according to Yahoo News. And recently, there have been plenty of such incidents. The FAA reported there are now around 100 incidents of drones flying perilously close to commercial aircraft every month up from 20 per month at the same time last year. One of the closer calls included a drone coming within 100 feet of a passenger jet uh, that was coming in to land at JFK a Airport. In another incident, an unmanned aircraft got within uh, 100 feet of another jet at 1,700 feet in the air. The safe distance between aircraft is at least 1,000 feet. Um, so... I guess what I'm wondering here is, is uh, you, so you register your remote control airplane with the government. And That's what they want you to do. They've yeah. got some kind of serial number on the plane, I assume. If uh, the chunks of your plane end up in the, say, the um, the engine of a 747, they pull it out, they find the serial numbers, they piece together the pieces, put together the serial number, and then they can say, hey, look, dum-dum, 
you're going to have uh, you're you're responsible for this. And I think that there's you know there's some value to that. Um, however, wait, how can you hold someone responsible unless you can prove that they were the one piloting the drone? Uh, well, you certainly go to the person who bought the plane and ask them, "Were you piloting this plane?" And if they I say yes, I don't talk yes, to police. Right, you don't. That's fine. Um, where was I being detained? Where, Cell four one one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can tell you what. There are three hundred <laughs> dead people from this uh, seven forty seven. Um, yes, you're being detained. Come with us downtown, and then we're gonna beat your beat the crap out of you in some dark room until uh, you know this whole thing about having a lawyer is uh, kicked out of you. They did it on nine eleven. They'll do it to you. So um, yeah, that absolutely can happen. Second, uh, but the the question I would have is is Right now, when it comes to, say, a driver's license, you can be reasonably sure that 99% of the people on the road have a driver's license. Mm -hmm. How do you know if people who have, because uh, I've flown a drone, um, I've flown uh, remote control airplanes at my house. I've got one, as a matter of fact. Uh-oh. And does that mean that uh, uh, it seems unlikely that people are actually going to do this? Yeah. And also, what if you sell the drone? What if you uh, take it to a store and sure. you sell it to a uh, thrift shop or something like that, or you put it on eBay and you're tired of this drone thing? It's always crashing, but it hasn't broken, so you're going to sell it cheap. Try do, to get do your you money have out to of it. Transfer the the license at the same time as well, and what's that process going to well, be? Well, like? the next thing will be you have to have a pilot's license to a thousand the drone. hours minimum of operation. <laughs> with you got to go through training and. Go through certification, etc. Yeah, don't give him any ideas, James. Uh, Senator Chuck Schumer of New York has proposed. He's a, always behind this crap, isn't he? <laughs> proposed a new law requiring manufacturers of unmanned aircraft to put geo, excuse me, geofencing technology into their software, according to the Huffington Post, preventing drones from being operated near a danger zone, going one step beyond a federal register. In announcing his idea, Schumer reportedly said, "Quote." God forbid a drone was sucked into the engine of a passenger airline that was flying. It'd be a huge tragedy. And it's a matter of time before that Certainly happens. Certainly would be a tragedy. There have been other problems as well. Drones have been crashing at sporting events. Uh, literally, last month, unmanned devices crashed in the U.S. Open and the University of Kentucky's Wildcats home opener. No one was hurt. In the latter situation, university officials weren't sure how to punish the student pilot. Right. Some student had a remote control airplane at an event and it fell down. And uh, no one was hurt. Let's make sure they're punished. Meanwhile, in California, pilots looking to get a view of the seasonal wildfires have flown drones into danger zones, impeding the work of aerial firefighters. Fighting air firefighting aircraft were even prevented from attacking a blaze on Cajon Pass for 20 minutes while drones took up the airspace. The flames managed to sweep over a freeway, destroying 20 vehicles. So they're trying to make the case here that the drones are causing all kinds of havoc out there and that well we know from the roadways that once people get a government permission slip that everything becomes safer yeah they're they're a lot better i i know that's nonsense yeah. there's accidents every single day on the roadways involving people that are licensed uh operators of those vehicles having the uh drone people be licensed isn't going to make anyone any safer it's not necessarily going to mean that people take fewer risks it's just going to create a government bureaucracy that is then funded by whatever fees that they're charging for these licenses. It'll be another thing that they can go after people for. And more prosecutions. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the bottom line to me, because if you're going to, I don't know, let's say that you want to fly your drone next to the Empire State Building, you're not going to abide by this. You know, why would you register that? Yeah, I, and, and from what I've heard, it doesn't go into it in this article. From what I've heard, it will be on you to send in the registration. So it won't be like a, like a you know, I used to work at Kmart, and they would actually sell the, like the turkey permits or whatever. You could go to the store and literally get these things in a, in a department store. I don't think that's what they're going to be doing with these drone applications. So you still will be able to buy the drone, and then you'll have to send in for the permission slip. Basically, so yeah, what percentage of people will actually go through that process? It, um, I don't know. It seems like if you want people to license uh, themselves, that you're gonna have to do it at the place of purchase. You would think that's the only way that you're gonna make this work. And um, you know, the the government is reasonably good at forcing this kind of crap down the throat. Coming of soon to the dark nets, it's gonna be drones. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, it's <laughs> now the, this is here's the question. 
what level of a because you can currently buy like an eighty percent of an AR fifteen and then mill it out the rest of your um, way with like a, right. a handheld drill um, or something like that. And you know, at what point in the process does a a motor and some uh, plastic become a drone? I don't know the answer to that or a, a remote control airplane. I want to keep on stressing that these are remote control airplanes. Right. <laughs> these are not these are not drones or something special. Um, so at what point in the process is this the case? Um, I'm sure there's going to be people. I know there are people that kit out these things currently. Um, I mean, that what them? The kit them out. Uh, kit them. Yeah. Okay. Meaning they build them up from parts. Right. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're saying what happens if you sell one on Craigslist or something like that, and that's a great question. What happens if uh, you know three friends buy three different ones? I, you know, we mix some parts around or whatever. At, which one belongs? Which one's the drone belong to? Because this is when it comes to uh, weapons, it's the receiver. Whatever part of a firearm is called a receiver it's is like the, the gun. majority of it, basically. I don't know. It's the, the big metal part, essentially. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, so, so the they metal say. Metal part that doesn't move. There's some things that look awfully like a gun that aren't a gun. Mm-hmm. Um, if the receiver is the gun, I don't know. But which part of the drone? Which part of the remote control airplane is the remote control airplane? If uh, you know, like. I've, mine has yeah. s- propellers that I can trade out if I want it to do different things, different propellers. I want to know what the drone pilots out there think about this because this is becoming a hobby. There are I've known a few people in my life who have these drones or who have had a drone before it crashed uh, because it seems to happen a lot with these things. Yeah, well, so If you're going to spend money on a drone, be prepared breaks. to spend more money on another drone later. Uh, if you are a drone operator, how do you feel about these new requirements? And when are they going into effect? That wasn't really made clear to me. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733, or Skype in at Skype username lrn.fm. The new fourth edition of Healing Our World, The Compassion of Libertarianism, will take your understanding of liberty to a deeper level and has over 1,300 updated references, new cartoons, and a forward by Dr. Ron Paul. With discounts for multiple book purchases, the fourth edition of Healing Our World is a great gift for the liberals, pragmatists, environmentalists, and Christians in your life who think libertarianism is cold-hearted. Get yours today at healing.freetalklive.com and use promo code FTL for a $5 discount. If you expect secure, privacy-oriented services and real human support from your web hosting provider, choose Virtual Space International. From domain names and SSL certificates to offshore banking accounts, Virtual Space International has been the all-in-one, multi-language solution for over 25 years. And satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. We even accept Bitcoin. Find out how to get 50% off for life at SaveTimeHosting.com. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit StrategicShelters.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Monday, October 19th, 2015. Silver is trading at $15.90 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,175 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $265. 
Antiwar.com reports the pro-Saudi Hadi government in Yemen, which controls parts of southern Yemen, has agreed to attend a new round of UN-brokered peace talks to be held with the Shiite Houthi faction and unspecified international factions. The Hadi government has spurned several recent efforts at peace talks, most recently a high-profile September effort brokered by Oman. Hadi backed out of the talks a few days prior, insisting that any participation was conditional on the Houthis surrendering all cities and disarming. The last time Hadi delegates actually attended talks was in June when they refused to be in the same room with the Houthi delegates throughout. The only time they were in the same room was when Hadi delegates attacked a Houthi press conference, sparking a fist fight. It's unclear what sparked the Hadi side to agree to talks this time, though in recent days they've tried to spin Houthi comments supportive of the peace process as proof that they're close to surrendering outright. The Houthis, by contrast, have been saying they support a peace process all along, so they may be setting themselves up for disappointment. Are you an advocate for free market money? Do you promote Bitcoin as an alternative in a fiat-centric world? Then you need Spendabit in your arsenal, the search engine for things you can buy with Bitcoin. Spendabit aggregates millions of products from thousands of Bitcoin-enabled merchants. Keep your money in the free economy. Visit spendabit.co today. Bitcoin merchants, ask about our merchant suite to reach even more customers. Spendabit.co UPI reports Secretary of State John Kerry confirmed on Sunday he will meet with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas this week in an effort to calm tensions that have left dozens dead in both regions. Kerry will travel to Germany to meet with Netanyahu first and travel to an undetermined location in the Middle East to meet with Abbas and Jordanian King Abdullah. Speaking at a lunch in Paris at the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization's headquarters, Kerry said he will also hold a meeting during the same trip to discuss the crisis in Syria. The exact dates for the meetings have not been disclosed. Kerry said, later this week I will meet with Prime Minister Netanyahu because he will be in Germany and then I will go to the region. I will meet with President Abbas. I will meet King Abdullah of Jordan and others and in between I will have some key meetings on the subject of Syria with critical players. Kerry's announcement came as Hassan Nasrallah, leader of Lebanon Shiite Hezbollah group, praised the Palestinians and said standing up to Israel is the duty of all Muslims. In the past month, at least eight Israelis have been killed in attacks, mostly stabbings by Palestinians. At the same time, at least 40 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli military fire. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports many Egyptian voters shunned the first phase of a parliamentary election on Sunday that President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi has held as a milestone on the road to democracy, but his critics have branded a sham. Polling stations visited by Reuters correspondents pointed to a turnout of around 10% in sharp contrast to the long lines that formed in the 2012 election, suggesting that CC, who has enjoyed cult-like adulation, is losing popularity. Elderly supporters of CC comprised a large portion of those turning out to vote, while younger Egyptians boycotted the election for a chamber they say will just rubber stamp the president's decisions. Ahmed Mustafa said, it's not going to matter, it's just for show, to show that we're a democracy and we have an election, and blah blah blah. Egypt has had no parliament since June 2012 when a court dissolved the democratically elected main chamber, then dominated by the Muslim Brotherhood, reversing a key accomplishment of the 2011 uprising that toppled Hosni Mubarak. Muslim Brotherhood official Wafa Hefni told Reuters, the election is a farce. I don't think anyone in Egypt is taking it seriously. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. A new video game is being criticized for its harsh portrayal of barbed wire. Here's Game Bites' Caitlin Torres with more. Bethesda's The Evil Within is a nightmarish adventure that shows bloody and rusty barbed wire being used to hurt innocent people, which has angered the nation's barbed wire producers. Barbed wire is a positive force for good. It protects our junkyards from scrap metal thieves and helps keep our cattle ranches safe from rustlers. 
But Bethesda thinks it's okay to ignore all the benefits of barbed wire and make it look like some scary thing used by murderers. The designers have promised that the game will feature prominent messages extolling the virtues of the sharp steel fencing. But barbed wire groups say that it's too little too late. If Bethesda wants to make this right, they should have the main character go behind a fence and then be safe from monsters because they can't climb over the barbed wire to get him. Now that's a game I would play. Let's hope Bethesda listens. Thanks, Caitlin. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. This is Free Talk Live, and you can join us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And uh, we just finished watching the video, the hilarious video, of the penis copter. We were talking about the drones that are now, uh, there's now a requirement, apparently, in the U.S. to register a drone, supposedly. I haven't, you know, I don't know if it's a law or if it's an FCC or FAA, rather, regulation or what. Uh, but if your drone is actually a penis, does that exempt it from the uh, requirements? I suspect that actually um, that the first thing that needs to be licensed as far as the government's penis concerned copters? are giant flying uh Dildos, well, yeah. the funniest thing is you know, this video. It apparently James, you in, uh, introduced us to it. Uh, oh no, I'd seen it. Oh, you had seen it. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, James introduced me to it, and uh, and it's it's some br Russian politician apparently who's speaking, and someone just pulls out their penis drone and <laughs> launches it into the air and it's hovering around this politician uh, <laughs> until the security can finally whack it. You out get of the air. Far too much joy out of this. I must it say, it was hilarious. I want to recommend it to anyone. I hope. I, I hope we see more of this around politicians. Can you imagine Trump? Can you imagine someone bringing a <laughs> penis copter out at, at, at a Trump event? I can't imagine how red he would get. It would. It wouldn't be about Trump. It'd be about going viral. You want to talk about oh, yeah. a viral video? Yeah. That's instant viral right there. Now I don't know how you make a penis copter, but uh, apparently there's been a couple of them out there because if you uh, if you Google it or YouTube, some guy it. made a um, drone out of his dead cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go to your phone calls and thoughts. It's Ian, James, and Mark in the studio with you here. We do have Will on the line in Tennessee on Skype. Hey, Will. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Well, I thought I would tell you about the really hilarious thing that just happened to me a few minutes ago. All right. I got thrown out of, I got thrown out of an Alan West event for challenging him to a Roberts Rules debate moderated by the religion department of the university that he was speaking in, and he responded by uh, denying my request to meet me in a debate, and then shouted as that I was an ISIS member as I was being removed from the property. Okay. <laughs> How would he know you're an ISIS yeah. member? What would make him say that? Well, because I, well, I challenged him on his views and his public statements about Muslims, and uh, I guess as I was being let out, someone asked me, asked him who I was, and he shouted, "Don't worry about him. He's just a member of ISIS." Just a member of ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so my my response, of course, uh, as I was being pulled out the doorway, was. That's why you won't face me in a Roberts Rules debate is because ad hom is a proper rebuttal in a Roberts Rules debate. And you and said an ad hom is not a proper rebuttal, meaning an attack against the man, an ad hominem? Well, yeah. Yeah, an ad hominem attack is not considered a rebuttal in an actual debate. If right. you want to defend your position, you have to do so with academics, facts, rather than uh, you challenged me and people want to know, well, uh, he's an ISIS. <laughs> you know, like, you know. is there so, a video of this, Will Coley, from uh, Muslims for there's, Liberty? There's video. We literally just walked in the door. I was listening to you guys on the way home on the TuneIn app, and uh, my wife was like, "You should call them." I was like, "Oh yeah, they'll think this is hilarious. I'll call them as soon as I get home." So, what was he doing? Is he running for yeah, president? Because he he's not he's not ranked in any way, right? No, the, a group called Young Americans for Freedom, they're like the neoconservative yes. college campus club. <laughs> uh, they invited him out to speak, and uh, it was basically a 45-minute a long sales pitch for the military-industrial complex. Uh -huh. Oh, oh well, you know, thing, right? we had, 
we had this tank and then under Reagan, we got this new tank. And then we had this tank and under Reagan, we got these better tanks and under Reagan <laughs> and this and these guns, wow. we need to do that upgrade again. We need to upgrade every piece of military hardware. What can we need is zombie they... Reagan to take the office. Well, I mean, bring when, him back. Well, yeah. the, can somebody he put the scenario he out he for me that we fight the next tank war? I mean, okay, so <laughs> the United States hasn't fought a tank war unless you count this sort of uh, you know, surprise attack on um, in the, the Persian Gulf in like 92. Um, hasn't fought one since World War II. There's, it's unlikely that there'll ever be another tank war the United States participates in. Oh, not only that, but he's like, oh, they're gutting all of our warships. If we need these multi-billion dollar warships, the only way that you can expand the power of the United States is through maritime military intervention china has like, just uh, just shown its carrier killer missile let me ex describe to you what this carrier um, missile does now i'm not exactly sure how it's launched i think it's truck launched but i'm not entirely sure the missile goes up into the stratosphere and then comes down at mach 16 I'm going to say that again. It comes down at Mach 16, and then it, it, it comes down so quickly that there's nothing that any a car aircraft carrier can do about it, and boom, basically a city on the water goes under. Um, the aircraft carriers are obsolete. Yes. Well, now he wants to pour money into building new carriers and new uh, you know, naval military stuff, and he How also about battleships. Can, let's let's get some battleships yeah, battle and some really Seriously. big cannons. You saw yeah, my that's, battleship. <laughs> that's what he's talking. That's what his his speech was about. Was we need more battleships. Battleships. We, <laughs> we need more. Well, this we is big money for the military industrial complex. Yeah, but a battleship hasn't yeah. been relevant since. Uh, it wasn't but, relevant in World War II. But you can you can bring a bunch more money, and if you're building a battleship, than if you're building boots, right? Like you know, this is a big money uh, job for whoever the hell it is that manufactures battleships. And they then he this. went on, to, he was very, very upset about the fact that they're talking about that, you know, that airplane that they're working on designing that they've put like a trillion dollars the into. The F-35? Yeah, he's upset that they're going to pull the funding for that. And of that's course he wrong. Is. He has some friends America, who are getting well paid off of it. put America at risk, and we're all going to be, die, we're all going to die and be speaking Arabic in, the in yeah, because uh, ISIS has months. such the Air Force. Well, the F-16, a 40-year-old pl weapons platform, outperformed it. I mean, there are some things that the F-35 is going to do better, but it seems to me that we need to put aside um, innovating in the area of our, of uh, manned uh, manned flight. Uh, it's Really, you can't come up with a drone that costs much less than this that can take down an airplane? It's, it's ridiculous. When was the last time uh, any kind of battleship or whatever was attacked? Wasn't it that? Those guys in the little dinghy that like drew up by the side of yeah, one in the could, late '90s or whatever. Oh yeah, the USS Cole. When the hell was that? Was that even in the two thousand? I think two thousand. Yeah, it was two thousand or ninety nine. One or the other. Yeah. I think it was like I we're under like siege. Our poor military. They need more boats. I I yeah I can't take this seriously. <laughs> that wasn't even here that that happened. That happened on the other side of the globe. So what happened with this guy? You went into his little speech thing, and and how long was it before you got kicked out? Well, the they they had a Q and A session, and then I guess there was a warning that was sent to one of the organizers that I was there, <laughs> and so they canceled the Q and A session. I actually found that warning on Facebook. A local state, former state representative, went to the event page and warned the people that were there that I was coming to challenge West. Wow. So they. They got rid of the Q&A session. All questions had to be written on index cards. And, of course, the questions that I asked were filed, were edit, were you know censored. They were never asked yeah. uh, because I challenged him on his voting record. And it, this was a, like, we love the military. We love Alan West circle jerk. It wasn't a let's hold this man accountable for what he did while he was in office kind of thing. They're not going to do and, that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You, you and then when I, the, uh, You could have deployed the penis copter. <laughs> right. So I got in the line for like the give Alan West a hug and take a picture with a war with a war criminal and uh, <laughs> that's my favorite part of these events. About five people, I noticed the the camera lady and another one of the organizers were watching me while I I was in the line. The closer I got to the line, the more members of the campus group started to like form an archway around West. 
And by the time I got up there, he was flanked on all sides by members of the Young Americans for Freedom group waiting for me to ask him my question. They were there. And as soon as I got it out and he said no, and I challenged him, I said, so basically you make public statements here and in the media that you know for a fact will not bear debate in the marketplace of ideas and therefore you are un unwilling to do them in Not a moderated a debate. Is Politicians that are cowards. Will Coley from Muslims, the number four liberty.org. Thanks for the call. This is Free Thanks, Talk guys. Live. I'm Steve Sidkowski, a former Wall Street insider. I'm holding a book that will show you investing strategies which could help you earn the kind of money you've always dreamed about. And right now I'm giving this book away for free. So who needs to read it? If you're in the middle of your career and worry you'll never have enough money to retire, you need to read this book. If you're already retired and your income isn't enough, you need to read this book. And if you don't want to be selling burgers at 80, you need to read this free book. It includes the strategy I use to make a 72% profit on a trade where the stock only moved 12%. You'll need at least a million dollars to ever fully retire. If you're behind on that goal, you really need to read Trade Like the Pros. And you can for free by calling 1-800-944-9358. Skeptical that it will deliver results? It's a free book, so what do you have to lose? Find out how at 1-800-944-9358. 1-800-944-9358. My name is Bill Bonner, and I'm the president of the largest private news and research network in the world. And I paid for this airtime because I have an important message to the American people. There's a change coming that the government isn't telling you about. This change has deep implications for life in America, from where you shop to the doctors you visit and the family you want to protect. Look, I've made predictions like this before. Thing is, I was right then too. A few years ago, I warned that housing prices would collapse. They did. Before that, I warned that dot-com companies would crash. They did. Those who listened had a chance to save themselves. But this has nothing to do with the stock market. This will affect us all. You can watch the video for free right now by going to disappearingwealth.com. Again, that's disappearingwealth.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 85% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. If you're a regular reader of FreeKeene.com, you know there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at FreeKeene.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at FreeKeene.com. That's FreeKeene.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. So you've signed the Shire Society Declaration and are planning your move to New Hampshire to be around more liberty-oriented people. Next, sign up for the Shire Society Forum at forum.shiresociety.com. There are a bunch of people there who are already in the Shire, and they want to meet you. If you're already in the Shire physically, you should also come by the forums. Remember, not everyone uses Facebook. New people are signing up for the Shire Society Forum every month, so drop in and say hello at forum.shiresociety.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. The 
This is Free Talk Live. Join us right here, toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've also got Skype. You can Skype on in here at Skype username lrn.fm. And with you in studio, it's Ian. And James. And Mark. All right. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com. Uh, we got a lot of great features on our website. And, of course, we've promoted saveitpurse.com as a great way to save big money on Amazon if you've got Bitcoin. If you don't have Bitcoin, you can still shop at Amazon and help Free Talk Live. You won't save anything off their regular prices, but a portion of your purchase you price. You can use U.S. dollars. A larger, much larger portion of your purchase price will go to Free Talk Live. When you just go to shop.freetalklive.com and you enter Amazon through the links that you find there, and then you just pay with your regular old credit card or whatever. Uh, so you can do that still through shop.freetalklive.com. Again, that's shop.freetalklive.com. We are going to continue on uh, various different news here. The, Of course, the drone story. If you're a drone operator, I do want to hear from you uh, because they're talking about requiring registration of drones. And maybe you've got more details on that or you want to share how you feel. You're welcome to do that here. Let's go first, though, to your calls and thoughts. James in Arizona Listening via tune in. You're on Free Talk Live, James. Well, I called in to talk to Will Phoney from Muslims for, for Liberty. I'm sorry. He's already off the line, but uh, was there something you wanted to say on the radio? Go ahead. Yeah, I believe he uh, bared false witness the last time I challenged him on Free Talk Live. But that's okay. We'll catch up with him another time. But speaking of ad hominem attacks, of which Mark Edgington is wont to do when James Witty Kind calls in. You're talking about yourself in the know, third person? Uh, uh, for the benefit of your audience, yes. Ian. Okay. But since most of the people listening right now are sycophants that listen to your show religiously. No, actually, most people listening are listening on the radio people. and listening yeah. in the car. They're just uh -huh. driving home. They're listening to their talk station. Right. They're okay. not, they're uh, not, they don't hate you, James, but you're not that important. Know, like, they don't know who you are. I, right? I <laughs> James is so important. Right. All the people listening hate him. Hey, Mark Edgington of hate. I've now used that word not once but twice when speaking of me, minister. But I've never aggressed towards you at all in any way, shape, or form. But you have many a time. You, he's you aggressed? Mark, Ed, Mark Edge, my co-host, has aggressed against you? Are you saying that he has not? When he calls me a lunatic killer and all the other nice That's not aggression. Right. You've, me. you've threatened me, me, my no, wife, and my lie. family. I don't think that's he called you a lunatic here. killer. I'm pretty sure that's never happened. After the, uh, No, I never bear false witness, and there's a 100% chance he did on Free Talk Live. I can't he imagine means, he would accuse you of being a killer, sorry. considering no one has ever seen evidence that you've killed anyone. Maybe it's a few DUIs, but uh, the May DUI I, doesn't mean oh, killer. I love, that, I love that other lie that you love and take comfort and strength and perpetuating about me that it isn't even true. but You haven't been charged have with DUI? Said, I've had a DUI. You've had a DUI. I know that you guys all get, I know that you guys got all your rocks off thinking I have three, and then you have this conclusion that I'm some kind of angry drunk, and you've actually liked comments by people on this sick F, F what I call an F Facebook page, created by Mark Edgington, by the way, Mark, what's my mugshot doing on one of your uh, Facebook pages? So the people, if they see you, know who you are. Thanks, James. You make threats against people. You're dangerous. You never called him a killer, though. I right? don't know. I've called him all kinds of things. He's been calling for years. He's a lunatic. He's insane. And and you have the evidence that he's... Uh, you. I've seen screen caps of his arrests for DUI and more than one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen more than one. I'm pretty sure about that, yeah. but... Maybe someone falsified those uh, those datas or those uh, PDFs, whatever. Anyway, doesn't Anything's really possible. matter to me. Doesn't really matter. 855-450-FREE. That is a number at which you can reach us here. Hey, uh, guys, apparently we are ruining the movement. Uh, there's a story over at thedesertlinks.com by Joel Valenzuela, who is a uh, an activist here in New Hampshire. He moved up for the Free State Project. And like a number of activists, he is very critical of some of the things that are going on in our very own Keene, New Hampshire. Uh, and let me just jump into his story here. He says, I'm never one to shy away from controversy, especially when it serves some greater purpose in the pursuit of truth and justice. A couple months ago, I drew flack for addressing the liberty movement's scumbag problem and calling on libertarians to disassociate themselves with lowlifes. 
While the response was overwhelmingly positive, there were enough criticisms. Yes. Well, of course, it's positive. No one wants the no no one likes the idea of uh, other people hanging out with low lifes um, when it uh, you know is detrimental to them. Yeah, I mean he, that's not a surprise. He said there were enough criticisms along the lines of "You're destroying the movement." That I feel I should elaborate on exactly why it's important to be selective in who we as libertarians call our friends. I call this selective association philosophy weakest link theory. A group is as vulnerable to criticism as its worst member. This means that no matter how competent, kind, and wonderful most people in the liberty movement may be, all it takes is a couple lazy, sexist, racist, fraudulent, or hypocritical members to allow freedom's enemies to throw the whole group into the scumbag category. I don't disagree with that statement. I mean, that's, you know, somebody who... Um, somebody who disagrees with you is always going, okay, the, those that go for the lowest common denominator are always going to try to find that cheap shot. And if they can make the cheap shot, they will. Um, many people won't debate, uh, you know, don't want to debate with Hillary Clinton based on her ideas for running the government. They want to point out the, you know, couple of dozen scandals she's been involved in. And that's why I say she can't get elected president. She just has too many scandals uh, that they can point out to point out the you got to look at negative uh, campaigning. These things are important. But sure, uh, if, uh, if if we all say we're libertarians, then uh, somebody's going to say, find the most uh, racist, sexist, worst libertarian, point him out and say, that's why I'm not a libertarian because of that guy. Well, I can point at any group and find that guy. Yeah, that's true, especially as groups grow larger uh, and they become more public with the things that they do, it becomes less and less possible to truly control who gets involved. James is in the studio with us here tonight, and he helped organize the Robin Hooding, which has been an incredibly popular form of activism, but also controversial uh, here in Keene, New Hampshire, that involves filling parking meters that are expired so to prevent people from getting tickets, usually doing so in the presence of the parking enforcer to prevent them from writing tickets to people. And, uh, you know, there have been people out there who have gone and fed other people's meters and behaved in a way that maybe, James, you wouldn't behave when you're out on the streets doing Robin Hooding. They may call themselves a Robin Hooder, but if they don't have the official Robin Hooding calling cards that people, that the Robin Hooders leave on people's cars to identify the fact that they've been saved, they're not really likely an official Robin Hooder. But that doesn't mean that somebody can't come along and claim to be a Robin Hooder and then make a fool of themselves or do something stupid or dangerous and then other people who heard that person who just let's say they come up and hit someone or shove a person uh then they say i'm a robin hooder and they hit somebody well okay how do you prove they're not a robin hooder right. you can just dis you can disclaim it and say look i don't know who that guy is but then the people who uh hate you and who want to attack you will simply say well he's just lying of course he knows who that guy is james is the mastermind he probably sent that guy out there to do that attack and now he's denying it because he knows it makes him look bad there's always a conspiracy theory. <laughs> There's more here, though, about uh, the idea that libertarians should be more choosy about who with whom they associate. Uh, and I don't agree necessarily with the thrust of this particular story, and I'll explain well, I have why. To hear more, but yeah, I'll explain why here uh, in moments. You can join us and share your thoughts. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. This is Free Talk Live. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow, a new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. So you've got to take a state construction license exam or certification. Can't decide on what books or what chapters to study? Discover right now how you can eliminate unnecessary books and wasted study time. At ContractorExam.com, our study materials zero in on state-required test topics in an effective, multiple-choice format. So whether you're a plumber, electrician, general contractor, or other construction-related trade, ContractorExam.com will help get you prepared. Visit us at www.ContractorExam.com today. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. 
Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. Why are you playing a slot machine sound for an online poker site? Do you have a poker sound effect? Because we have a new advertiser, swcpoker.eu. Brought to you by the same guys that did seals with clubs. Now they're called swcpoker.eu. It's Bitcoin Poker 2.0. They have lots of new games, including Chinese poker. The Krill leaderboard is active now. It's Bitcoin Poker from the brand you trust, swcpoker.eu. Get on over to swcpoker.eu and start playing now. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Hey guys, it's Mark Clare here, lionsofliberty.com, where we strive to advance the ideas of liberty daily. We bring you the Morning Roar. That's right, every Monday to Friday, we'll have a brand new edition of the Morning Roar, where we provide a roundup of some news stories that you may not find in the mainstream media or even in your typical social media news feed. We find stories that relate to the ideas of liberty and provide you with our liberty perspective on them. Every Monday, we have our longest-running feature, Mondays with Murray, named after the great libertarian Murray Rothbard, where we'll examine an article or an excerpt from his works and help convey his view, along with our little spin as well. We wrap it all up every Friday with Felony Friday, where our own John Odermatt goes out and takes a look at some sort of felony. There's felonies committed every day, you know, whether it's a felony committed by the police, a politician, or even an average citizen. You can find all of this and so much more over at lionsofliberty.com. Advancing the Ideas of Liberty Daily. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Oh yeah, it is Free Talk Live, and you can join us here toll-free. Our number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We are in James and Mark. And we go to your phone calls and thoughts. Andrew in Alabama, and then more about the liberty movement uh, and one of the schisms here in moments. Andrew, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, uh, thanks for taking the call. Welcome, welcome sir. Go ahead. About, thanks. had a question about um, whether you believe that man has inalienable right. I think this gets a little tough. Um, so I'm going to say yes. Uh, I believe that rights spring from ownership and that you own yourself. So therefore, um, in the same way that I have the right to drive my car because I own it, I have uh, you know certain rights that are inherent in my ownership of my body. How's that? Uh, wait a minute. I want to get everyone's answer on this. Uh, James writes. Yeah, I would. I think I would agree with Mark. Um, it's based on the self ownership. So, um, absolutely, you have uh, rights. I guess. I disagree. I think that uh, rights are just a concept, but a good concept. And I think that so is people, ownership. I think that people should agree on that concept and respect one another's rights. But all the evidence is you don't have rights unless you're willing to stand up for them because the men with guns calling themselves the government will do their darndest to take your rights away from you. Uh, James, you thought you had a right to freedom of the press and the state police are trying to teach you a different lesson. They took your freedom away from you, put you in handcuffs and detained you for several hours until ultimately, I believe you were, was it bail or PR? What did you end up getting out on? So if you don't have rights um, and someone tries to kill you, can you defend yourself? 
Well, I mean, I think that you should have rights, but uh, it's, it's just an imaginary uh, concept. I mean, I, I believe in the idea. I like the idea. But if I'm surrounded by people who don't reciprocate that idea, then I don't have that idea. It's not real. Well, I don't necessarily disagree with you, but I think, I don't know, it's, it's the whole basis of society, in my opinion. It well, he should hasn't, be. He hasn't disagreed with our point that rights are a function of ownership. Yep. However, if you don't act like you have that level of ownership over something, someone else will go ahead and usurp that ownership. If you leave your wallet on the sidewalk long enough, someone will usurp ownership of it. All right, Andrew, there's th uh, three answers for you. What do you think? Uh, well, I guess, I mean, for me, uh, so I, you know, pretty much spent the early part of my twenties, um, uh, as part of like the atheist humanist Alliance that the college I went to and just uh, like really got into all that. And I think I just kind of came back around because I wrestled with the question a lot. And, and for me, I think we do, I think there are inalienable rights, but I don't think that it's. I don't think that it can be democratically decided, you know, based upon the whims of a of a culture or community. Like, if 51% of people decided that cannibalism was okay, you know, I still don't think that would be all right. You know, if 51% of the population was men and they said, well, we, you should be able to rape whoever you want. You know, I don't think that, you know, I don't think that this, because then you subject yourself to the tyranny of the majority. because you do have a property right in yourself. Uh, but I think that the source of that property right, because it's not in man, is something is in something that's higher than ourselves. And that's where I, I just kind of think that you, to claim that you, you own yourself or have a right in yourself, it's only because you're made in the image of God himself. And because you bear the image, you have that intrinsic value wherein your life is sacred and no one has the right to infringe upon that. I tend to agree. Like, this is my uh, assertion that there is a uh, creator being that uh, puts together the fabric of reality. Interwoven into that fabric is the ideas of uh, goodness, ownership, uh, you know, property. You know, a few of your virtues are, are wrapped in um, uh, diligence. You know, so many things that uh, that we revere. However, I can't really. You know, it, it's diff It's a very difficult thing to prove. Even though I feel it is true, it's just it's sort of a, a difficult thing to to prove. Is is that well, just because I like these concepts and I consider these concepts good, there are certainly right. societies that have existed without even really understanding personal property uh, many many tribal societies didn't you know just considered stuff to be anybody's to use yeah. Andrew, right. thanks Don't for the call tonight man about. i do appreciate sure. hearing from thanks. you our toll-free number is 855-450 free that's 855-450-3733 you're welcome to comment on rights we are also discussing the liberty movement and one blogger says libertarians should get better at shunning people that one bad apple can, you know, ruin the whole bunch uh, is basically the point thus far in the story here. He continues, uh, this is uh, thedesertlinks.com's Joel Valenzuela writing. He says, it's not fair, it's not reasonable. That is that, you know, one person can sort of uh, taint in a group. And it certainly isn't logical. But no amount of denying that the bad apple isn't representative of the tree will matter as long as the apple is still attached. I'm sorry, but guilt by association really works. Take the cautionary tale of liberty activists in Keene, New Hampshire. The Keeniacs, as they are affectionately or otherwise known, were some of the pioneers of the local liberty movement, in particular gaining national and international headlines for their spirited resistance to parking enforcers. I will speak no ill of them here because, although I've had my disagreements with them, I respect their contributions to the cause. However, it's unavoidable to mention that they've been ostracized by large chunks of the free state movement, much of it in connection with their acceptance of a certain individual known as Cantwell, or the anarchist, atheist a-hole, his words not mine, writes Joel. This person of legend, who was one of the inspirations behind my previously mentioned article, was banned from the Free State Project publicly for making highly visible public statements suggesting libertarians should use violence against the government. 
uh, which is a direct contradiction of the project's statement of intent. Privately, this character had also gotten drunkenly belligerent and driven his vehicle dangerously close to campsites and children. After banning, after after his banning and subsequent ostracizing, he settled in Keene with the only community that would have him. After only a year of relatively good behavior and subdued overall awfulness, he was a regular co-host on Free Talk Live and invited to not only speak at but headline Keenevention, the Keniac's annual convention. In time, though, he could not contain himself from publicizing his overtly racist views during his co-hosting gig, and after much internal consternation, Free Talk Live gave him the old-fashioned boot, after which he withdrew from Keenevention. During the whole regrettable affair, Stop Free Keen, which is a group form, uh, formed specifically to attack every move made by the Keniacs, has had a field day, repeatedly, repeatedly hammering them on Cantwell and his overall distastefulness. Uh, yeah, I haven't even read anything that Stop Free Keen's uh, put out about this whole situation. Oh, they've I, slowed down big time. They're I only f- doing like one blog post a month now. I find them be completely irrelevant. I mean, these people can't show up to... Uh, they, they can't leave their... They're just armchair quarterbacks. They can't even leave their houses. Oh, well, they did a protest like a year and a half ago. Yeah, that was it. Uh, They haven't been alone in this, writes Joel, either. The nationally popular Colbert Report lampooned the parking enforcement resistance by the so-dubbed Free Keen Squad, focusing mainly on Cantwell's antics in order to paint the entire group's actions in a negative light. Uh, James, you were part of that particular Colbert Report, and uh, you were one of three characters that they focused upon in that that piece, Cantwell, Garrity, and, and you. And uh, would you say that it wouldn't have been they would have made fun of you if Cantwell wasn't involved? Uh, it might have came across better. I won't deny that. Like you don't. Yeah, he's out there shooting the American American flag. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Well, I, it's it's funny, uh, but it, they're laughing at uh, you guys, not with you guys. Look, the fact mm-hmm. is, Comedy Central and Colbert Report is a comedy show. Mm-hmm. If Chris Cantwell wasn't there that day. Uh, it would have been me who was in uh, in the particular piece, likely, because I was interviewed as well for that. And they decided that uh, the Cantwell thing was funnier, so they went with uh, with his clips rather than rather than mine. Uh, sure. And you know they would have lampooned the hell out of us. It wouldn't have mattered whether or not Chris Cantwell was involved. We knew we were well, going to get well, lampooned. There would have been less screaming, I think, like less yelling by Chris. You mean? Yeah. Not necessarily. They probably would have still pulled the videos of him uh, kind of haranguing the parking enforcers. Well, I'm assuming a world where Chris wasn't here. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. 855, 450 free. And uh, this uh, blogger is saying that we should be nasty and mean to people like Chris Cantwell so as to keep them away. What do you think? Free Talk Live. If you expect secure, privacy-oriented services and real human support from your web hosting provider, choose Virtual Space International. From domain names and SSL certificates to offshore banking accounts, Virtual Space International has been the all-in-one, multi-language solution for over 25 years. And satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. We even accept Bitcoin. Find out how to get 50% off for life at SaveTimeHosting.com. Are your kids spending too much time online? Are they gaming instead of doing homework? Are they on Facebook instead of sleeping? Turn their internet access on or off when you want for free at webcurfew.com. 100% web-based interface means nothing to download, install, or configure. Web Curfew is free and controls any device using your home network without slowing down your internet. Block all adult web content with a click of a button. Don't let the internet raise your kids. Take back control of how and when your home internet is used for free. Visit webcurfew.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. It's time to kick some ash because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vapriate e-liquid by La Cig because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. La Cig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LaCig.com, spelled L-E-C-I-G.com. La Cig e-cigarettes. Kick some ash. Why did you move to the Shire? 
I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This year, Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Daily Precious Metals Update. In early trading Monday, gold is down $1 at $1,177 per ounce, and silver is down $0.16 cents at $16.02 per ounce. Bitcoin is currently trading at $264. US Check out our Halloween special on Australian silver spiders. And if you've been looking for silver American eagles, we've lowered the price on those too. So give us a call today at 800-874-9760 or online at rrbi.co. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Should libertarians ostracize more uh, rather than be accepting and welcoming and loving and, you know, forgiving towards people who aren't perfect, towards human beings who are, as all of us are, in some way flawed? And maybe they're flawed in, in ways that is not good for public relations? Uh, what do you think? Our toll-free number, 855-450-3733. The story from thedesertlinks.com, Joel Valenzuela and his opinion piece. He says, this guilt by association affliction has affected me as well, mostly with my activism as part of the Rights Brigade. Everywhere I've conducted activism operations where none of the kind had taken place previously, I've seen an overwhelmingly positive response. However, in several cases where others had been before me, I've been met with some hostility. While I have been very blessed with how my work, my rece its reception has gone overall, it's been harder for me in some cases because of guilt by association. Now, I'm not at all calling for isolationism in our work to free the world. In fact, I think libertarians could do a better job of working with more people. Despite my conscious and public compartmentalization away from the Keniacs, I still happily work with them wherever we can find common ground. And as it turns out, that happens quite often. The trick is to speak for yourself and yours while remaining willing and eager to work with just about anyone else. Few teammates, many contacts. That way you can have plausible deniability when criticized for others' actions while having no shortage of help when trying to get things done. Another salient example of this principle not being applied on the opposite end of the spectrum is Rand Paul's presidential campaign. Liberty lovers have been quick to create some distance and point out that his campaign doesn't accurately represent libertarian ideals, and rightly so. However, libertarians have by and large been too reluctant to support, publicize, and encourage what he does right from encouraging a peace. I'd agree with that. Absolutely. Uh, he gets some stuff wrong, but he gets some stuff right, too. From encouraging a peace-driven foreign policy, insisting on fiscal responsibility and opposing the drug war that has harmed so many innocents, with the poor and ethnic minorities taking the biggest toll, this is a chance to push the national debate on public policy in the direction of sanity, and most libertarians are, in my opinion, blowing this opportunity. To properly present yourself in the war of ideas, it's imperative to com compartmentalize your approval, associate yourself with few, work with and encourage the selective work of many, play this game right, and the global cause of liberty will be winning more than ever. Play it wrong and you could end up leaving adrift one of the most libertarian presidential candidates in recent memory or embracing an outright racist troll. The choice is yours. 
Your thoughts, gentlemen? Um, I get where he's coming from. I don't disagree entirely with what he says. I think to some extent he's falling into the trap that uh, so many fall into in the the Free State Project, which is to believe that um, you know there must be generals and generals hand down the orders. Now I've got some good ideas, and doesn't seem like anybody else is stepping up to be a general, so I'll be one, and we'll whip this movement into shape finally by getting all these cats herded together and have them do their thing. Um, Whether this is a good idea or not, I'll leave for the history books. But I can tell you, it doesn't work. Um, I've tried giving my best advice to activists throughout the years, and it seems like what they're going to do is the thing that they're most passionate about doing at any given time. And whether, you know, for better or for worse, that's what they're going to do. So, uh, you know, the Free State Project is moving along. It's getting, uh, you know, people have moved for the Free State Project. are moving along, getting the things that we wanted to get done, done. Um, at this point, I would call the project a success. The Free State every- Project is what? The Free State Project is a project to move 20,000 liberty-loving individuals to the state of New Hampshire to work towards the creation of society, that the maximum role of government is the, um, the protection of life, liberty, and property. And for me, all I ever wanted to see was... Liberty-oriented people getting elected, just getting in there. And um, currently we have enough. I think it's uh, about 20 percent of the uh, New Hampshire legislature is uh, are nominal libertarians. You have to get your conservative or liberal bill through our phalanx, well, you know, albeit uh, somewhat uh, spotty phalanx, um, our phalanx of libertarians. And to me, that's all I was ever looking for is, is an opportunity to have some successes, and that's what we're having. But uh, the the libertarians, um, don't they don't follow instructions. I'm sorry. They're never going to follow instructions, and they're going to hang out with the people they want to hang out with. And just because there's some guy that, uh, you know, Joel doesn't like, and I get why he's not a particularly likable guy um, in many ways. But But Mark, you and me here on Free Talk Live and James, uh, you haven't been unfriendly toward Chris Cantwell. Uh, You know, we've all been friendly toward Chris, And the argument would be that that's ruining the movement, that we should be ostracizing uh, people who are not perfect uh, libertarians. Well, I think that uh, Chris is probably pretty grumpy with me from what I can tell uh, these days, but maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know. I haven't uh, talked to him directly in the last uh, few weeks after he has been uh, kicked off the show, and I was certainly the catalyst in that uh, occurring. No, I actually decided to remove him from the show. You did, but you I was, confronted I that, him in a way that got him to say something that made me realize I needed to do well, something. You know, it, it's interesting. Um, uh, I, I, like, what does he mean by ostracized? Does he want uh, free keen just to have articles denouncing every time Cantwell comes up with an article? We should denounce it. You know, like what what exactly does he mean by that? And you know, I think there's a real danger of if you think Cantwell's wrong and you're not even willing to talk to him. Uh, you're never going to change him. You're never mm. going to change his opinion. So I think that there's kind of a danger in that. I agree with that. And uh, I, I think that Cantwell, even though we have our disagreements on some things, I don't uh, appreciate where he's coming from on uh, race, certainly. And that's one of the reasons, that's the main reason why he was removed from from Free Talk Live. Uh, but I still, as a human being, respect and uh, and like him. I think he's done a lot of good for the ideas of liberty. Uh, he was out day in and day out at the, uh, the 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 county fair this year with me promoting Bitcoin to people, and that's all that Chris talked about with folks at that county fair booth was was Bitcoin with folks, and he was there every single day for eight hours per day. Uh, it was him, me, and Derek J. We were the three primary actors in that booth, and we did an amazing job, if I do uh, say so myself. I mean, so the guy is a great activist. Is he the most uh, persuasive, uh, maybe not to some people. Um, is he the kindest person? No, certainly not. He's flawed, and everybody's flawed. We're human beings. We are not perfect people. We are trying to get better, I think, over time in general. And if if I can have a positive influence on somebody, I think that's worth doing. And well, so, well, people, it's like human nature. They like controversy. Like a, a simple example of that is um, the video of. You know, Free Talk Live's most popular video is the Mark Meltdown or whatever you want to call it. People love that controversy. And, you know, um, like I had kind of mixed feelings about the Colbert Report, but I mean, we had a new mover here and he was saying, you know, you basically got the non-aggression principle on national television, you know, to an audience that probably would never have even considered that. 
So that's like an amazing thing to get that idea out there. And, you know, it's, it's unfortunate, I guess, that, you know, I guess like what what standards are you going to use? Like, should we do all of our activism wearing suits and should it be like kissing mm. babies? And Joel you know, obviously wouldn't be uh, advocating for that. But uh, there is a group of activists out there that would who, say that. who would say you have to be wearing a suit. You know, it's funny, you- too, because, you know, the uh, so a couple years ago, I went the Dave Ridley had this thing where he was protesting. Um, it was Manchester City Council event. Like, you know, basically he got threatened for recording in there. So mm-hmm. he had a group of people come out and I went out there and. I was inside on the second floor on the stairs, and I have video of this. And this lady walks past me. I think she's a school board member in Manchester. And she says, are you a free stater? And I said, yes. And then she walks a few steps, and she turns. She says, oh, well, the people outside were denying it, you know, like, <laughs> which I, I just found fascinating. Like, okay. And then she walked a little more, and then she turned around and said, uh, we're going to defeat you. And I've <laughs> never, ever, ever gotten that response in Keene. I've never had a politician say, we're going to defeat you. So now, what does that mean? What does you what does that say to you? I don't know. It's like you're going to have haters, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like it doesn't matter what you do, like politics, yeah, if you have real success there's there. There's all these you people know. that tiptoe around their activism and and they think that they cannot offend people when they do activism. And the fact and Joel's, you know, saying that he's done all this great work with Rights Brigade and he's right. He has done some great work with Rights Brigade. And one of the primary things they're doing is jury outreach at several different locations all around uh, New Hampshire, and that's something I work with him on. I'm, I, I provide the flyers for that outreach, and that's a relatively unoffensive form of activism, to hand people flyers in, in front of a courthouse. Comparatively. But, uh, comparatively. But the more activism you do, the more likely more people are going to be put off by it. They're going to be offended by it. Uh, certainly the prosecutors don't like you standing there giving out information about jury nullification. We just had the situation with uh, the the illegal Uber driver on the seacoast, the taxi cab drivers certainly do not like the fact that that guy's out there driving for Uber illegally and continuing to take people on rides. And there are people who are friends and buddies with the cabbies that are on the cabbie's side. You take a position for activism, for liberty, people are going to hate and, you You know, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, if, if libertarians think we're going to win a popularity contest, I mean, like the Libertarian Party has been trying this for years. It yeah. does not work. It's time for something else. The, well, the something I'm, else is the Free State Project. You can go to freestateproject.org and learn more about it. Unless there's someone in the movement you don't like, and that's going to keep you away from New Hampshire. If that's the case, we didn't want you in the first place. If you can't get along with people and you can't be friendly and welcoming, then I don't think you should come here. Uh, this is Free Talk Live, and we'll see you tomorrow night online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Blake Keenvention is coming up fast, October 30th through November 1st. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is an intimate event where you can meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire, including Oath Keeper Chris Reitman, Libertarian presidential candidate Daryl W. Perry, illegal Uber driver Christopher David, Neocash Radio's Dr. Darren Tapp, State Representative Mike Sylvia rated an A-plus by the NHLA, The Seditious Sirens, The Rebel Love Show's Rob Mathias, Tech Guru Brian Sovereign, Cop blocker J.P. Freeman, new mover Dr. Taryn Lupo, longtime political activist Dennis Goddard, Church of the Invisible Hand Minister Rich Paul, Shire Dude, and dozens more. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. That includes access to the Hello Keen Costume Dance Party. Reserve your tickets now at keenvention.info. Visit keenvention.info for more speaker announcements, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. If you have a business, you know that IT can be frustrating, but it doesn't have to be. IT can serve your needs reliably, predictably, and on time. Rootwork Infotech helps businesses achieve always-on reliability. Their nerds know business and can meet your needs. To prove it, they'll give you 30 minutes on the phone with a senior consultant for free to answer any of your IT questions. Just go to rootwork.it slash FTL to get your free call. That's R-O-O-T work.it slash FTL. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM.
Understanding your credit score is the first step towards managing and improving it. This is Charlie Sundstrom with your Van Dyke Mortgage Minute. The most influential component of your credit score is your payment history. Almost equally as important is the amount you owe on credit accounts. Also impacting your score, but to a lesser degree, are the length of time you've utilized your credit, the number of new accounts, credit inquiries, and your various types of credit accounts. To help achieve or maintain a healthy credit score, have a system set up to assure your bills are always paid on time. Don't max out your cards. It's better to have a high credit limit with a low balance. Never close old accounts. The age of these can actually help your credit score. But don't be afraid to use your credit. You need several accounts in order to have a credit score. Just keep the corresponding payments within your means. For your mortgage pre-approval and refi needs, start by visiting VanDykeMortgage.com. Corporate NMLS 3035. Van Dyke Mortgage is an equal housing lender. Charlie Sundstrom, NMLS 134251. The three most important things you can do for LRN.FM are, one, let your friends know you're listening to LRN.FM on your social networking profile. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.lrn.fm. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program at amp.lrn.fm. It's my firm belief that the AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented groups. Support all your favorite organizations, but make sure you give five bucks a month to the AMP program at amp.lrn.fm. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit StrategicShelters.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. The latest edition of Lions of Liberty is next on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Get more at lionsofliberty.com. You know, if you're drinking a beer in the street, first of all, that nobody cares. Second of all, if somebody did care, they'd say, oh, can you please not do that? And you say, oh, okay, no problem but they're not going to come up and assault you and, you know, with attack dog, you know, whatever. Welcome to the Lions of Liberty podcast. Here is your host, your guide, your shining beacon of liberty, Mark Claire. Hey, friends, glad to have you back here today at the OLOLP, Lions of Liberty podcast, if you can believe it. This is the 150th episode of this program. How exciting. I'm not going to make a whole hoopla. We're not going to spend a whole episode celebrating this semi-milestone, but 150, it's a cool number. So, hey, you can find today's show notes, of course,